My king, my lion, my crown, my husband. Are you all right? I have been watching you for days now, and I know that all is not well with you. I am your wife. What is the problem? troubling him so much that he can't share with me. What could it be that is eating him so deep? I said it. I said it that the black Smiths of Oka are better than all other blacksmiths around. You don't look good. I don't like your mood. Is anything wrong? Ebube, have you been observing your father of late? Yes, I was with him yesterday to show him this new den gun I ordered from Oka. We made merry and we drank the best of wine. I was 15 years when I married your father. And if I don't know him up till now, then I shouldn't be parodied as his wife. Mother, your explanation has not given an answer to my question. Is my father not okay? Your father is troubled. He's hiding something. I have the feeling that if you talk to him as the first son, that he will open up to you. One you call of Umatora Kingdom. A great woman that married a great man. You know, every day I pray the gods to grant me a wife that will be to me what you are to my father. A huge supporter. Your presence here has gladdened my heart. Ebube, don't make me cry. Nkonye, the daughter of Ichiro Kadike, the one that has been bethroned to you, will make an excellent wife. Please, son, talk to your father. Make our time and talk to your father. You are his first son and his everything. Please. Consider it done, mother. I know the best time to approach him. Thank you. Thank you. When you call, no, okay, keep it a cheerful smile. <laughs> <laughs> the soft talking but deadly aggressive. The second son of a wifey did you be. Sometimes I wonder why you believe everybody in Umatsuara must bow to you. Should I take that as a compliment or what? Why qualify me as a deadly? Because that's exactly what you are. Everybody may fear you in Umatwara because of the kind of influence your father wields. But not me. I am not afraid of you. I am Isioma, daughter of the gods. Isioma, wait. Wait. Ever since I set my eyes on you on that day you led the beautiful maidens of this community to dance for the title men, I said to myself, that you're the woman for me. Really? Woman for you? Yes, I led the maidens. Decent maidens of this land to dance for the titled men. In an occasion that was attended by only the high and mighty. 
Why is the son of Idejio be telling me about it? Well, the way your son, something tells me you've been discussing my family in the secret. Can you deny it? Well, any man in this land that needs money to buy yam seedlings for the planting season must approach your father. Any man that needs money to bury his mother, father, brother or sister must approach your father. Any man that wishes to take the prestigious also title must approach just one man, Obwefi de Chiobodo. Any man that wishes to take a bride and has no money must approach Obwefi de Chiobodo. Of all the men that has ever went to him for assistance, has never been disappointed by him because it has been said in secret and in the open that your father has a secret fountain that gives money. <laughs> Also, do I come near or for my tour? I don't know why you said all that. That has not answered my question. You've been gathering with people to discuss my family. I said all I said to remind you that your father is already a huge topic in Umatwara. I mean, people gather everywhere to discuss him. They call him the great. But you know what? He is great to them, but not to me. Wait. Why are you not afraid of my father? Why do you think he's not a great man? I will give you the best answer. Someday. In two months from now, it will happen. Obwefi Idejiobodo, the great man of Umuatwara will be no more. What a sudden way to end an adult life filled with wealth of unmatched level. I greet you. You know, sometimes when I look at you, I see a man that is made in the caliber of men of Umatua. Sometimes when I look at you again, I see a woman staring at me. It's a mystery I cannot explain. <laughs> Wifi, you know me well enough to know that I'm a full blown masquerade of Umatua. It is not in your place to say. It's not at all. Before this time tomorrow, I will know if actually you are a true masquerade of Umatua or you're just a woman running from the masquerade. Father, I came to you this night to discuss something very crucial and important. And here you are, hijacking proceedings and talking weird. I am talking weird. For indeed, I am weird. So, why are you here? Everyone has noticed that lately, something is eating you up. Something is terribly bothering you that you're trying so much to hide. I even observed it while we were celebrating the new day gone yesterday. Father, I am your first son. Talk to me. What is it that bothers you? I want you to mark one thing today. The sickness that ultimately kills the elephant starts from the stomach. Go and sleep. Tomorrow, I will take you to a place where we will talk like you. Good night, Father. Everybody may fear you, Numatwara, because of the kind of influence your father wields. But not me. I am not afraid of you. I am Isioma, daughter of the gods. Daughter of the gods? That is the more reason she must belong to somebody like me. Why is she not ready to talk to me yet? Where 
Eze. I don't know where you are going, but I want us to talk. Talk about what? About our father. Something is seriously wrong with him. And it has become necessary that we confront him, since he's not willing to say anything tangible. Ibuwagala, that is not my problem. I have somewhere I'm rushing to. I'll talk about for the one of Where is it? Why? Why does he... Why does he not ever take anything seriously? Why is he always so? The only thing I got from him is that we're going somewhere tomorrow. Somewhere. Where? He didn't say. But mother, I've seen what you've been telling me about. Father is deeply troubled. Something is disturbing him. Something he doesn't want to tell anyone. And it's only you, my son, that will be able to get it out of him. We have to force him to tell us what it is. We've had enough casualties in this family. We can't continue like this. We have to do everything to force it out of you. Please. I'll try my best. Please mother. use it as a point of contact tomorrow. I will. Please. I don't think you should worry yourself so much about this. Under normal circumstances, Every maiden in our land will be happy that a man like you is asking her to be his bride. That maiden may not be too sure of a lot of things, but surely she will be sure that she will never lack anything money can buy. Why then are you not happy? Before now, I wasn't planning to get married. But seeing you has changed everything. It's your mom. I want to make you my wife. And I want it to happen as fast as anybody can get. Despite the wealth in your family, the wealth that every maiden, including every man in our land, envy, there is something about you I still don't understand. I will not be able to give you an answer right away, but I promise I will someday. Good night. I brought this to you to fully register my love. This is the prestigious deed of Omaliko. As one by the great woman of Islam. Please. Because I see you as a great woman. I want to be treated as one of the great women of Islam. I don't know why she accepted and allowed her daughter to be married into that family. Why? You were there where she said it will only happen over her dead body. Why would she swallow her word? She was offered the prestigious bead of Omaliko, the highest gift any man could offer a woman in Umuatora. Oh, Omisom, I can't believe this. Just because of May Bead, a woman of her level swallowed her word. Ebele, a woman. Hi, the bead of Omaliko is not ordinary. Though it's a bead, we know, but it has extreme spiritual powers. The ones we have now in Omoatora are the only ones available because all the ancient women who made them are all dead. The bead of Omaliko can actually liberate one from bondage. That is, if one knows how to use it. In the well-documented history of Omoatora, no woman has ever rejected the gift of the bead of Omaliko. That bead changes the life of a woman 
And if she could swallow her word because of the bead, I don't think anyone should blame her. Um, I can't wait for the day I will set my eyes on the almighty bead of my life. You? Yes. I am still hoping and praying that someday, somewhere, someone would offer me the bead of Omaliko as a gift. Yes. Even you? I don't know what will happen that day. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> I am sure you know the words of this ancient gift. My father, in all his wishes, has spooned it. This bit is bigger than Osa. Take it, and I'll be the happiest man in this land. In the well documented history of our Matuara people, no woman has ever rejected this gift. It is the best gift any man can give to any maiden. Practically all the maidens, including my own mother, pray for it is someone will give them. Thank the girls that you know the words and the relevance. Please take it and be counted as one of the great women of this land. I will be that first woman to reject this gift. Thanks for your generous offer, but I can't have it. Good night. Money makes the world go round. Brought is everything. What cause? Believe it or not, money cannot buy everything. When we deliver a man, we expect a man to be a man. When we deliver a woman, we expect her to be a woman. Do you know what that means? Wifi, is it why you brought me here? For us to continue this talk about man and woman. I brought you to this lonely place so that I can resurrect the man in you. If actually you are a man, today is the day you will prove it to me. I am a man, father. How do you want me to prove it? Your father, Uwefi Ideji Obodo, the Ozo Uduakomele of Umotor, is a member of the Order of Ezego. A secret order that is the source of all the wealth that I have. Hmm? That order explains why Flood will carry all farms and my farms will be spared. That order explains why everything I do turns to money. That same order explains why every man comes to me for money. That order explains why I never run out of money. If I dare Konata, maybe Fenade. As my first son, can you handle it? Father, are you are you serious with this or you're joking? You belong to a secret order. I hear they have such things in Oka and Mbo. Do we also have a thing like that here in Umatora? If you listen attentively, chances are that you will see where the masquerade is going. Your father, Uwefi Idejo Bodo, is a great man, a fulfilled man. But in two moons from date, he will be no more. What are you talking about, Uwefi? You will die in two moons? Do not fear death. For death is the end of life. Fear what comes after death. I will expire in two moons from now. And if care is not taken, all the wealth and goodwill that I have acquired over the years will vanish with me. All depends on how you handle it. <laughs> I 
I don't understand. What are you talking about? What do you want from me? The time has come for you to prove to me if you are actually a man. You frighten me, father. What do you want from me? I will take you to a place. What place? I want you to come with me willingly, like a man, like a warrior, like a masquerade. I'll take you to a place where I will initiate you into the order of his ego and transfer the mantle of wealth to you. You're my father, but we operate with different mindsets. I will never make myself available to initiate her into anything. You must understand the implication of what you're deciding. And if you refuse to do what I have asked you to do, you will become very poor. So poor that even the ground upon which you stand will revolt against you. Father, death is the end of life like you said, but it is not a good thing. Look at you, Father. You have been bothered. You are depressed. You already know when you will die. I cannot make myself available to be initiated into an order where they will tell me when I will die. No. If this is the reason you brought me to this lonely place, I'm sorry. I'm going back to Umatora right now. As you are foolishly living like a woman. Make sure you do not discuss this meeting with any woman. For if you do, I will make sure you end brutally and painfully too. Why have the gods given me a woman for a son? The first one at that. Beautiful one. I have something for you. Hold on. <laughs> Take this. Hmm? You will like what is in the back. Hmm? Just go. I don't understand. Why are you dismissing me with such urgency? Mm. Please stop. Stop, Jugo. I'm not dismissing you. I'm just not in the mood to be with a woman today. Understand me, please. And who said I came here to be with anyone? I only came to spend time with my man. We're used to spending time together, you know. It's me, oh, Jugo. I understand you, eh? I'm only begging you to excuse me today. My father said we are going to Nemba tomorrow. That's the biggest date in Umatora. And uh, you don't expect me to be with a woman when I will be going to appear before a deity. Obiora, why is your father dragging you to the greatest deity of our land? Did you do something wrong? Did you commit an abomination? Oh, please stop, eh? Stop, Chugo. I didn't do anything wrong, and I didn't commit any abomination. I, uh, don't put words into my mouth. Eh? Just go. I will call you when I'm done with the rituals. Please, go. Make sure you do. I will. Hmm? Go. <laughs> go. Go. Before your father and tell him that I was the person that taught you that. Eh? How do you mean? So, because you were expecting Okoma 
the meeting you got yesterday, you have to use them back to lie. Why are you, why are you undermining the ghosts of this land? Hey, shut up. How is that your business? Eh? Listen, how dare you ask me nonsense questions? Are you okay? Go to Madwekwe and collect the pan wine I ordered from him because uh, I want to hit that Ukuma so, so hard. <laughs> eh? eh? You must lie. Lie with useless things that we can handle as young men. Stop lying with the gods. They can get angry and kill you. Uh, are you the gods? Get out! My friend, I said get out! The court. Nonsense. Growing up as a child, we were told about the bead of Omaliko. It prefers from within, and any woman that has it shall not be humiliated. What is wrong with you? Why are you telling me about the bead of Amaliko? For the very first time in the history of Omuatura, a maiden rejected the bead of Amaliko. That should bother a woman of your status that knows what the bead represents for our people. Obuefi Deji Obodo is a man of many sides. Why should I start observing him? Your father is troubled. We have tried to find out what it is, but he refused to talk to anybody. I and your brother have tried so much, but he refused saying a thing. I think that was the topic he wanted to discuss with me last night. But I don't have that time. Mother, if you ask me, you and Ebu Bogalanya are not disturbing that old man unnecessarily. Can't you be serious for once in your life? Mother, I am very serious. Very serious. Our father is a great man. Obuefi Ideji Obodo is known in Umatwar and beyond. And he is a great man. Great men are great thinkers. Leave him alone. Maybe he's meditating. You shut up and stop saying nonsense. Is that all you have to say in everything I've told you so far? Will you come back here? Mother, if what I said is not acceptable to you, you can go ahead and say yours. Every man's thought is excellent to him. Husbands are known to be very close to their mothers. Why is mine different? Why can't my last bond reason like a normal human being and stop saying nonsense? This world is vanity. This world is vanity. Father. You are the only titled man in um, Mwatwar that does prayers without Nzu. Can you please tell me why? And what do you know about Nzu? Nzu signifies holiness and purity. When men welcome their visitors with Nzu, it means they receive them with clean hearts. And in that, they are in agreement with Ajani, the mother ex. And their visitors are safe. A man that prays with Nzu is pure. That's all I understand about Nzu. Should I then understand from your explanation that you hold me as someone who is not pure? 
I did not say that, Father. May the gods forbid if I use such words for my father. I only want my father to teach me more about Nzu. <laughs> and father, tell me if you think praying with Nzu is not the right thing to do. I will, I will quit. I will avoid it. Gwizi, there are questions men should not ask. Men that are men observe all the happenings around them. Keep observing your father. I shall talk about the Nzu when I decide to talk about it. He has no explain his reasons to me. Even in public functions. When they give him Nzu to pray, it will simply rule to another person. What is he hiding? Igweze, I want us to talk. A median in this kingdom rejected the sacred bid of Omaliko. Have you heard it? Are you bothered the way I am bothered? I have not come here to discuss any maiden or any gift. Something is wrong with our family. I listen to the man from Agule Rigo Begon. There are problems in the whole of Muatuara, not only in our family. Can you just listen to me and hear me out? Something is wrong with our father. And it's about time we settle down and know what to do about it. I don't know why at times you talk like a woman. Watch your mouth. Mind the way you talk to me, I'm still your elder brother. I am sorry. But you ought to know that our father is a great man. And a great thinker as well. If people like our mother are bothered with his activities and functions, you are not to be. Igweze, why are you such a bad example? Our father belongs to a secret order, the order of Ezego. That order is the source of all the wealth he has enjoyed and goodwill. The same order is the reason we have more than enough to spend and even lend out. I am disappointed you are just knowing it now. Have you known about this before? Ibubagana, have you for once wonder why our father doesn't pray with Nzu? Even in public functions, when they give him Nzu to pray, he makes marks on the ground without uttering a word and wrote to another person, avoiding not to commit himself with her journey, the mother ate. Our father belonged somewhere, I think to the devil. Igweze, you have known all this and you didn't bother to share with anyone? I am not a fool. It's only fools that discuss their father. I am not. Listen. A wifey took me to a very lonely and weird place today. And he asked me to agree to be initiated into the secret order. That if I did, he would hand me the mantle of wealth. Did you accept? Did you accept it? Have you been initiated? You're not serious. You want me to be initiated into a cult? <sighs> As you are foolishly living like a woman. Make sure you do not discuss this meeting with any woman. For if you do, I will. Make sure you end brutally and painfully too. Ibube, why are you not saying anything? Something is eating you up and I want to know what it is. It is nothing. 
Just some family issues, but I'm on top of it. Family issues? And you think it's not wise to share with someone you call your fiancé? Your wife-to-be? It will be your problem is also my problem. So talk to me. Why are you scaring me with this impression that you're hiding something from me? I am not hiding anything from you. I'm sorry, I'm just confused. The little I know about royalty, a prince like you should have a maiden being groomed somewhere for him. A maiden he must marry to stand the chance of being a king. So, why are you asking me to be your wife? Well, let me start explaining by telling you that I do not have any maiden anywhere being groomed for me. My father would not have made such a mistake because before I was even conceived, a seer from Aglere had already told him that the prince shall be a free thinker, the one that must decide things by himself. And you decided to make me Nkonye your wife? Uh, my prince, uh are you not aware that I'm betrothed to Ibubo Agaranya, the son of Obwefi Idejobodo? My dear, a decent maiden like you must not make the mistake of, um, of ending up with a confused character like Ibubo Agaranya. Please don't say that. Don't, don't, don't say things that will make me walk out on you. I try as much as I can to respect people, but people should at least respect themselves too. How dare you say such thing about my fiance being a confused character? With all due respect, that is what he is. If you end up with a husband like him, he will confuse you with his poor sense of reasoning because he has nothing to offer. And um, he will not explain anything, not even the one under his nose. Do you know what? I am done with this conversation. Hold on, beautiful. You are made in the caliber of queens. This is why I came to you. I was never expecting you to give me an instant answer. Just ponder on these things. Ebubo Garaya is a confused man in this land and you don't deserve a confused husband. Prince Obiara was right after all. What has Prince Obiara got to do with the issue we're discussing now? He asked me to be his wife. He told me I belong in the caliber of queens and shouldn't end up with a confused man as a husband. He didn't say that. How dare he call me a confused man? Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm so sorry, but your behavior lays credence to what he said. Be something is going on in this family right now. And you're so confused that you can't even explain to the person you call your fiancé. What do we call that? How dare he propose to a woman that is betrothed to me? Come with me. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. It makes the world go round. It's not it's very confusing to me. Confusing to you in what sense? Huh? Isoma, why are you always behaving as if I was not the one that gave birth to you? A man of this land offered you the bead of Omaliko, the revered bead of Omaliko, and you rejected. How dare you? Mother, I rejected because he wanted to use that gift to cage my heart. I know what I want in a man, mother. I will not marry Gweze, and that is it. If he likes, let him offer his heart on a platter. That will not move me, for he is not the one. Isoma, okay. Can you give me your reason for taking a vow that you are not going to marry the son of the richest man of this land? Do you have an appointment with poverty or what? Mother, I have an appointment with decency. There are many maidens in this land that will be very excited to have his revered bead of Omaliko. I am not one of them, mother. 
I must marry the man that I must see as the man. Not one that merely looks like one. But that when I see that man, I will know. Hey! Hey! No woman has ever rejected the bid of Omaniko. Why is it starting with my child? Hell! Hey! You see, Oma. What is she planning to achieve? Obwefi, I came to you because you're one man who would speak and the king will listen. I beg of you. Please send words across to him and ask him to advise his son. I approved of the marriage plan between you and my son because of Ichio Gadike, your father. A great man. Why are you not doing your job as... Obwefi, come off it. What is this? I just lodged a complaint with you. Why are you not talking about it? Because I'm at a loss as to why the complaint should come to me in the first place. Where is the man I gave birth to? The young man of this land has proposed to your woman saying damaging things about you and you're here reporting to your father. If I were you, I would handle it myself. I regret coming here. Let's go. But if you are ready, I will have the motivation to go all out to silence the opposition for you. But if you are not, then get out of my face. What is he saying? Is this still part of the family problem? Let's just go. Don't forget what I told you. Do not dare me. You still have time to think. So this is why you've been dragging your feet. Nkunyi, you Can you explain it? You're getting it all wrong. You heard what he said about your father. What he said about my father? What does he have to do in this issue? I don't even know why I followed you to his chambers at the first place. I simply went there to let him know what the useless prince has been doing. So he wouldn't say I didn't come reporting when I, I handle him the way I want to handle him. So what happened eventually? He accused you of inaction. Exactly what the prince said. You know what? I am out of here. No, 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 come, come, come. Please don't go. Don't go. Is that what you think? Honestly, that has got absolutely nothing to do with this. As for the prince, I told you I'm going to deal with him. And I'm wondering how you are going to deal with a man. What are you doing here? I swear you do not know she's my woman. Why in the world would you propose to her? The revered bead of all Maliko. A special gift of our people. The highest gift any man can give to any woman in this land. I give it to you this day. For you are special and you are the highest. Accept this from me and don't say no. Thank you very much. Oh, oh your goodness. Why would you accept this bid? Nobody has ever rejected the bid of Omaliko. Today is the happiest day of my life. Shut up and give him back the useless beat! Oh my goodness. The ancient bead of Omaniko that purifies from within. The bead we inherited from our forefathers. That is what you just called useless. Seeking integrity. Seeking integrity. Seeking integrity. It makes the world go round. Seeking integrity. Seeking integrity. Seeking integrity. Let it not be a regret in your action. What action? You refuse to be initiated. 
I think I'm here, right? I'm not here for that. You told me a maiden rejected the revered bid of Amaliku. Who is that maiden? She's the one I want to make my wife. Why do you ask? Nkonye has proven not to be the one. I'm now searching for the one. I don't understand. What did she do? Right in my presence. She had the gut to accept the revered bid of Amaliko from the prince. I know what that means. Please, what's the identity of this maiden you talked about? The one I talked about is the, the one I want to make my wife. I don't want to disclose identity to you. That means you are indirectly telling me you do not trust me. You are entitled to your own opinion. Should I tell you the truth, Nkumi? I am disappointed in you. Why? My dear, I was never envious of the man you decided to marry. Because that's your choice. But for you to accept gifts from another man right before him shows you have no brains at all. Oh, stop already, Isioma. How dare you talk to me like that? Do you know the gift I was offered? Bead of Omaliko. How many women in Umatora has that? Or how many have rejected that? Maidens like you are the reason men will perpetually keep women under them as slaves. Where is your sense of choice and decency? Ah, Isioma. Isioma, I know what your problem is. You are simply jealous because I have what you will never have. Deal with it. Eh, hold it right there. Come back. Igweze, the younger brother of your fiance that you just insulted, proposed to me. And I said I would not marry him because I am not comfortable with that family. He made an offer. An offer of better beads of Omaliko. I rejected him and rejected his beads. Because my interest and choices are superior to anything made by humans. Isioma, Isioma, wait. Do, do you mean you rejected the reverend bit of Omaliko? Yes, I did. If they like, they can bring a basket full of it. I will still reject. A woman has to develop her willpower to attract respect from men. Wonder what those words are. If I born in a mini nuwa, Jupon we get to do. Because Jupon we get to do. What one we get so cool. Maconia, my baby, me receive you, my boy, or Gaya, me, Boga, Pussio. Come and read your father, choose all. Because Pulonwa go, Macan, get in Iruka, get in Iruka, get in Iruka. Are you alright? Does it look like I'm not alright? Nkoi, something is definitely eating you. You've practically lost your mind. Nkoi, wait, wait, come back. Nkoi, come back. Listen, you know what? We believe that a problem shared with her son. Tell me. Why are you like this? What is it doing? Why are you bothered to know my problem? It's a personal thing. Has this got anything to do with your betrothed? Let me tell you. You are a very lucky girl in this land. I admire you so much myself. You are betrothed to the son of the richest man in this land. You should be happy. Chigo. Huh? Can I ask you something? Yes. From, from the little you know about Isioma, do you think it's possible for her to reject the bid of Omaliko when offered to her by a man as a gift? Isioma, why are you discussing Isioma? Tell me, is she interested in your man? You've not answered my question. 
Has this Yoma got what it takes to reject the bid of Omaliko when offered by a man? Well, Isiyama is a maiden that many people believe she's the daughter of the gods. And as such, she has humbled many men in this land. We do not have any record of any man that's ever humbled her. And on this note, I can tell you that Isioma can reject anything from any man, especially where she senses that that man is trying to humble her with it. Hey, Bube, you have never bothered to tell me what you discussed with your father. He said many things. Many things like what and what? He said many things that concern him and the reasons he's been demoralized. I want to hear everything. Everything that he told you. Tell me everything. As you are foolishly living like a woman, make sure you do not discuss this meeting with any woman. For if you do, I will make sure you end brutally and painfully too. You don't have to bother yourself, mother. You are now hiding things from your mother. Why? I am certain that there is something you want to tell me. Speak, my son. I am listening. Father, they said your countenance has been moody in the past few days. And as such, they are worried. But I am not worried. That which is beneath the countenance of a man is known only to the man. On that note, I want to ask you decisively, why are you here? Father, you are a great man, and I know you are a great thinker as well. So it is very understandable when you suddenly go moody. That reminds me, I have a great father. Igweze, if you want to beg me for anything, please go straight to the point. At this stage of my life, I do not wish to spend time talking. Father. I want us to confidently discuss the suggestion you made to a Bubokalaya. What suggestion are you talking about? You were surprised to know you belong to a secret order. But ever since, you refused to tell me why you don't pray with Nzu. I know you belong somewhere. And where do you think I belong? The sacred place from where they control other people and remain great till they die. I am here to tell you, since he refused to do what you asked him to do, I am ready to do anything to be great like you. <laughs> I am impressed that at least I have a son who thinks like a man. But let me ask you, Igweze, is this coming from your heart? Father, from the deepest part of my heart, in the absence of the weakling that came before me, take me instead. I am ready. Oh, wait a minute, you. I want to understand something. You mean you came here this early to ask me why I rejected the bid of Omaliko? Are you that jobless? You know, Isioma, I am not jobless. Listen, this information is one that I will cherish all my life. That's if you give it to me. What information? It has never happened before. But I am not surprised I started from you because I've always known that you are entirely a different maiden. The question is, why did you reject it? The bead. Do you know why men offer gifts to maidens? Yes, because they want the maiden to feel good. 
they want the maiden to, to see how how much they appreciate them. You are right. But their reasons goes beyond that. How do you mean? <sighs> to humble all maidens is the cardinal thing in the hearts of men. And when a lady refuses to be humbled by them, she remains a mystery to them. And she is the only one that they will always respect. Intelligent maidens do not look at gifts offered to them by men. They look at their hearts. I rejected the gift because it came from a deceitful heart. I pray one day the maidens of Umar Tuara will grow to that level. That way they will be respected by men the more. Inside that house, where masquerades are talking, human beings are there. Inside that house, where masquerades are singing, men are there. Inside that house, where masquerades are talking, men are inside, and we are the men. We are the men today. We are the men forever. What do you want? My first son is not willing to join the order. But my second son is very willing. I have come to seek your permission to know if I can bring my second son for initiation. Request is accepted. He is your son. You can present him as long as he is very willing, like you said. When can I bring him for the initiation? Can I bring him today? Do it when you must do it. Don't ask me, you know. Why are you looking at me as if I'm Prince Obiara that stole your woman to me? I have not come here to discuss the prince or any woman. Then why are you here? Tell me what you want to say, because I, I should be sleeping by now. I came to know what you think concerning what I told you the last time. A vulgar lie. What a great man discussed with you in the secret is what you're constantly discussing openly. I'm ashamed of you. You guys, watch your tongue. Are you so stupid you cannot see the danger? There is no danger anywhere to see. There is no danger. Your father called you because he wanted to give you a new face of life. What did you do? You declined. Why are you still disturbing this man? Tell me. Why? He was a. I came here tonight because you're my brother. My only brother, as a matter of fact. If our father drops dead this minute, as is obvious now, and we do not do anything about it, would you forgive yourself as a son? Some people think they are living, but they are dead. Consigning yourself with what consigns you. If our father dies, he must be buried, the great man. Is that all you have to say? My brother, if what I said is not okay to you, then say yours. Seek integrity, seek integrity, seek integrity. It makes the world go round. You see that the more you try to hide it, the more difficult it becomes to hide it. What is this big problem that you can share with your wife? I have no problem. Or do you want me to talk about a problem that is not in existence just to please you? Tell me of a problem in existence. Look, you're talking to a woman that has spent 30 years of her life. And if you have spent 30 years of your life as a wife to me, then I should start telling you about problems when there are no problems. Give me a break, one young corner. Give me a break. I will not leave your quarters tonight until I take you my hands and tell me what is going to be. Ah, okay. 
You are welcome to stay here as, well, as long as you want. Money makes the world go round. But it's everything. Elodi told me that you wanted to see me and that I should meet you here. I was thinking that um, you've decided to say yes to my proposal. Why are we finally here and they're not saying anything? Is there any other way you want me to propose to you? Tell me and I will do it. You're the prince, a crown prince and heir apparent to the throne of Umatora. A maiden that means everything to you is what you once called me. I smiled and each time I remember that, I smile again. So you don't have to be in a hurry with that same maiden. Hmm. I think I like that. <laughs> okay, I'm not in a hurry. Why then did you call me out? Ah, uh, I've been thinking, ever since you gave me that gift, too many things keep coming to my head. <sighs> too many things? Like what? Why did you give me that gift? Because I'm convinced you are the one for me. I've looked around and it became obvious to me that you are the one I should make my wife. This is why I settled for you. The gift I gave to you is the highest gift in this land. It's worth more than 10 cows. And it's on record that no woman of Umatora has ever rejected it. A maiden named Isioma from Inuago once rejected this bead of Omaliko. Are you serious? Yes, she, she told me about it and I verified. I never thought a maiden could do that. Pushing me, pushing me to pass through, 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 through this way. Obiora, you are one of, of the men that deceive our maidens. I beg your pardon. What are you saying? What can you do? Eh? What can you do to start a fight with me? You want to start? Go ahead! Go ahead! Hit me! Let us see who, who a herbalist will be treating in the morning. Nonsense! Leave. This place this minute. It's an order from the prince. I am leaving already. Not because of, of, of your useless useless order. But because the people I, I move with have already asked me to move. What will a local man like me be doing in this polluted environment? <laughs> Both of you are in charge of this dark corner. You have used this your waste and polluted the whole environment. Go ahead and make use of it the way you like. Continue. But it's, it's you. I'm going here. Your frustration will start like rain. When it will start falling, you will remember me. You will remember me. Move on. My you will remember I me. Leave here this minute. Get out. Say, fight. No sense. You will remember me when you do one. Boom. Uh, uh, Obiara, continue. Why it? Twist. Continue. You, you both should kill yourself. Stay there till tomorrow. No other man will pass. I am the last man. Don't leave until, until the sun meets you here. It's okay. I don't like the fact that he met me here. Why? Huh? Don't disturb yourself because of that character. He's a drunk. Please, um, tell me more about the maiden that rejected the bead of Omaliko. Why do you want to know about it? There are men who are not sure whether they are the ones who father their sons. They will require a soothsayer to tell them the origin of their sons. I am different. 
that time I went into your mother, I knew she was going to bear me a son. You are that son. I called you here to let you know that I am most disappointed in you. Father, are you descending heavily on me because I refuse to do what you asked of me? I am descending heavily on you because you are a woman. And it pains my heart. Like I said before, Father, I am sorry. But I will never offer myself to be initiated into any secret organization. If that is the reason you are calling me a woman, then so be it. Good night, Father. And... By the time you realize your mistakes, it would have been too late for you. Go. Go and sleep like women. Go. Sleep like women. Ubu every day your brother. Is our mama. Your time is fast approaching. Mm. How are you preparing? Zamama, I am going to present my second son in Weze for the initiation. His elder brother is a fool. He refused to step into my shoes. And I'm going to show him the ugly side of life. Uwefi, you are passing through a moment of transition. Yes, I know. You have to concentrate on what lies ahead. Do not allow the actions and the activities of young men to get at you. The only luck he has is that he adhered to my instructions and he did not discuss my offer with a woman. Had it been he did, I would have turned him off. No, but you don't have to turn him off. You don't have to. For those that refuse to agree will eventually agree. And when they finally do, they will agree more than those that agreed from the very beginning. <laughs> Zamama, words of wisdom. <laughs> but no matter what happens, I want to beg you for one thing. And what is it? Don't ever include a Bubel Galanya in my protection and business. I am going to remove the cloak around him. And then he will see whether he will be able to survive the wind of life. There are powers everywhere. I don't have to educate you on this, for you know it as much as I do. Do not force the young man to start seeking solace from strange places. It could be very dangerous. Zamama, do you know what? Leave that to me. I am one of the men that hold this kingdom. How can my own first son disobey me? And they refuse to do my own bidding. Watch what will happen. I will cut him to size. I will cut him to size. Easy. What I can I say near the Take things easy. I know the reason, the reason why you've not asked me to sit down. So that you can offer me cola. You believe that is only alcohol that men offer me. No, 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 she doesn't. Let me clarify that. Don't take it like that. They call you Chidozie, the drunk of Umatwara. But I don't call you that. Because whatever a man decides to do with his life is absolutely none of my business. Moreover, you're not drinking with my money. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ibuaga. For that wonderful, wonderful statement. Because of what you've said now, I will not say what I had wanted to say. See you next time. No, 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 wait, 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 you see. You, you can tell me, you can tell me anything, feel free. Honestly, whatever it is you want to say, tell me. You know, I have credible compensation for any credible information you give me. What exactly are you doing with in Konya? That is the question. Answer me. Did you come here simply to discuss in Konya? Because if that's the reason you're here, you may take your leave. 
She used to be my fiancée, not, not, not anymore. Thank the gods that you've, you've already seen it. I met Nkoyne standing with Obiora. The one they call, they call their prince, not mine. The picture they gave me as they stood in that dark corner, in that ungodly hour of the night, is that things has happened many times. But what I cannot be able to tell you now is how many times it happened and how it happened. I might not be able to explain. But my summary on this is that Nkonye that used to be in Kegi, Buzi Nkonye Obana, Nkonye that used to be your own is now for everybody. That is my message. Thank you for your, for your cooperation. See you next time. Seeking integrity, seeking integrity, seeking integrity. Why didn't I see this coming? Nkonye is hanging out with Obiora in dark corners at night. Why is she such a fool? Dear, yeah. when did you start associating yourself with such a strange character? Chidozier the drunk, for him to pay you a visit. You have to be careful with that character because he might put you in trouble. Mother, he came as a noble man of this community to confirm exactly what we have been discussing. Nkonye was seen with Obiora, that he goat that calls himself their prince, in dark corners and at dark hours of the night. What do we call that? Why are you giving up on someone you said you love? Why are you giving up so easily? Because of hearsay. Why not go and meet her? Meet her face to face and ask her what she was doing in that... No, hour. no, mother, no, I can't. I cannot. Let her go and be with the one whose gifts she collects. I do not want to discuss this anymore. Ebupe. The news making the round is that you have become a constant visitor to the palace. Uncle, could you please explain the meaning of this to me? Constant visitor? Wow. I've, I've only been there only four times now. You have gone to visit a man for four good times and you have the guts to call it only. Huh. Go here. The mama. Why are you still getting involved with Prince Odiora? No, tell me. Since you know you belong to the Bibi Ogalanya. That is to show you the nature of the woman I have called my fiancé all this while. Ikeo Kadike, thank the gods you are home. I have come to let you know that whatever existed between your daughter and I has evaporated on account of our greed and indecent behavior. And as for you, I do not owe you anything. You are the one who owes me. Let it be known today that our relationship has been severed. Do not pay me back. I do not ask for any payback. We were just discussing that same issue before you arrived. Come now, let me say something. This is the son of Ozo Uda Komele that you are treating like a nobody. Are you really sure you, know, you really know what you are doing? I know what I'm doing. Father, I've been with him for several years now. He hasn't showed commitment. Can you compare him with Prince Obia who just came and showed commitment? I know exactly what I'm doing. Do you know how many young siblings his father gave to me last year? Free of charge. And so many other good things he has been doing to me without asking so many questions. Do you know, Emma? And you think this has something to do with that useless relationship? I just don't think it has a lot to do with that relationship. Oh, let me ask you. Is there any other reason you have in mind that you could give? Bagwan. Father, you know what? What? It's obvious you don't even know everything. Seeking integrity. Hey! Seek you integrity. It makes the world go round. Seek you integrity. Seek you integrity. Seek you integrity. Father. It makes the world go round.
in that house where masquerades are talking. In that house where masquerades are singing. Men are there. In that house where masquerades are talking. Men are inside and we are the men. We are men today and we are men forever. You are standing before Ozo Abatiego, the messenger in this order of Ezego. The mere fact that you have already decided to join us willingly has sanctified you from within. If there is anything I must do this night to take over from my father, I am ready. I really want to join this secret great order. Because I learned that greatness is achieved from the unknown. I am ready to be initiated into the unknown. <laughs> he is my son that gives me joy. Please, initiate him into the secret order of his ego. He will do better than me. The day may come when you will divulge the secrets of this order to persons not sanctified. That day will be your end. Are you ready to proceed? I am ready. Where you are is called Obijilegwe. That dreaded portion of land that lies between Umuatora and Oye. I can see the zeal in you. Ready? I will spare you further explanations. You will learn more as we proceed. Step forward and be initiated into the box of riches. Before you believe your father, be sure he is on the right path. Be sure he has integrity. Be fair not to turn a book with you. Before you believe your father, be sure, be sure he's on the right path. Come Face named Isioma from Inago once rejected this bid of Omaliko. A maiden that rejected the bid of Omaliko is a maiden of class. A maiden from another world. A maiden made for the mighty. And that is the one for me. How can I get her? How can I get her? Nkuni, 
the daughter of Ichi Okaneke is a beautiful maiden, quite right. But she's not qualified to keep my prince restless. Why are you undermining royalty by sitting here thinking of Nkoni? Eh? Elodie. My prince. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> I'm listening. <clears throat> Since you were born, have you heard of any maiden that rejected the beat of Omaliko? <laughs> hey, my prince, why are, you, why are you asking the impossible? No woman can ever reject that gift. No woman. Their souls are already tied on that bead. And they know that once they have it, they can achieve anything in life. Something bigger than ten in Koye put together is somewhere in Enuago. Hey, my priest, you are confusing me. What does that mean? There is a maiden of Enuago yeah. that had already rejected the bead of Omaliko. A maiden that did that is the one I can trust with even my life. Uh, Her name is Isioma of Enuago. That's the maiden for me. And we will go there tomorrow. Uh, my prince, don't, don't see it as if I am interfering your decision. But as your trusted personal assistant, I must be trusted to give a credible advice. What advice can you give? You see, I have committed Myself to Nkunye, the, 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 the daughter of Ichi Okadike. In fact, we have committed ourselves to that family. I allowed it because you once told me that you love her so much. And I believe you. Why are you planning a trip to, 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 to Inuago while you have an Nkunye waiting? Hello, if Nkunye is waiting, she is waiting for another, not me. The maiden that rejected the bead of Omaliko is the maiden for the coming king. We are going there tomorrow. I don't want to hear anything else. Uh, I, 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 still, I still have something to say on, on this topic. I don't want to hear it. Yes. In this forest of Obijilekwe, in the dead of night, where owls bear me witness, I must tell you the cardinal of all truth. I am listening. You must avoid women and their distractions. When you finally marry, you must not live in the same hut or room with your wife. She must live in a separate hut while you live alone. She can pay you visits just like your mother pays me visits. But do not ever allow her to live there with you. All members of our order obey this order. As long as you avoid women, then the world is under your feet. Women are weak, but in their weakness, they are stronger than men. And that is why they can kill the strongest of all men. Avoid women and you will leave. Embrace them and you are gone. For I am not a popular man of this land. But I'm certain you know the prince, Prince Obiora, the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne. We are here to see the wonderful maiden of Inuago named Isioma. Mother, I have an appointment with decency. There are many maidens in this land that will be very excited to have his revered bead of Omaliko. I am not one of them, mother. I must marry the man that I must see as the man. Not one that merely looks like one. 
But that when I see that man, I will know. Why are you looking at us as if we were not in, in a wrong place? We asked around and they directed us to this place. We are looking for his young man. How do we find her? Um, Isoma is my daughter. I'm just surprised at the visit. Please, why are you looking for her? Uh, mother, please don't read any negative meaning into this. We came in peace. After all, I'm a single man of Umatora, and your daughter a single maiden. I don't think it has become a taboo for a single man to visit a maiden. My prince, are you indirectly asking for my daughter's hand in marriage? Uh, 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 mother, I think we are running very fast. We are here to interact with her. Tell us where she is and uh, we can go there and find her. <laughs> well, Isoma went to Akama to deliver a message to my mother. She will be back by sunset. Would you want to sit around and wait for her? Okay, um... Uh, no, mother. Uh, we cannot wait for her until sunset. Uh, the prince here is the one that settles the casual miners that come from other lands to work in the mine of Umatora every day. We shall leave now, for the miners will be soon run off for today. And the prince here must settle them. <laughs> yes, mother. He is right. We shall leave now. But please, when your daughter returns, tell her that I would love to see her. The news of how she rejected the bid of Omaliku has reached me. I would love to see her. Thank you. I will deliver your message, my friends. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mother, I rejected because he wanted to use that gift to cage my heart. I know what I want in a man, mother. I will not marry Igweze and that is it. If he likes, let him offer his heart on a platter. That will not move me for he is not the one. Now I see what my daughter was talking about. She was targeting the prince. Why, why, you, why are you always interfering in my duties as a personal assistant? Eh? If you force me into resigning, you will commit blunder as the prince. May I major have cut you down for saying that to my face? Eh? What useless duties do you have as my personal assistant, if not to make a mock of me? Well, my, my prince, please give me some credit. How have I made a mock of you? By cutting me down each time I wanted to make a point back there. Who are you to cut me? Eh? What right do you have to prevent me from saying what I wanted to say? Uh, what right? I came in at the right time, my prince. Because I saw it in your eyes. You were going to accept her offer. Uh, uh, that I wish you wait until sunset. Uh? And I ask you, Lord, what is wrong if we wait until sunset? Uh? Why are you always giving people the impression that you are the one that controls my life? You are the one that controls me? Uh, uh, you know what, my prince? Let's just go back to the palace. And if there's anything you want to say to me, you can say it there. We're just standing on the road. We never can tell who is hiding in the bush. They see to what we're saying. You understand? You know? See, see, see. What I is listen, listen. See. What I said is in the interest of royalty. It is, it is, it is an insult to the prince of Umuatora to sit and wait for, 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 for a man that we don't even know. Eh? I, I, I'm disappointed that you even proposed. Hey, if you want to hit me, hit me. You don't stop me from, from advising you, for that is my job. Eh? How could you propose immediately? Eh? I never taught you that. Seriously. Okay. Uh, uh, what if the said Isoma comes back uh, and, and, and it's an ugly looking maiden? An Akabo or something. What are you going to say? Eh? How could you say that to you, Lodi? You really think the maiden could be ugly? Hey, we never can tell my prince until we see her. Yeah? 
you couldn't have invited her at the first place to the palace when we have not ascertained who she is. Yeah? Jabana. I am still surprised at what happened back there. He asked me to give the money to Iwizi, his second son, and instructed that all businesses we used to transact with his first son must now continue with his second son. And what is surprising about that, if I may ask? You talk as if you are not an Igbo man. Here in Igbo land, a man's first son is his eye. A man's first son is like his head. That son is the one he must lead into his secret. Why should Idejobodo now ask me to forget his first son and continue business with his second son? Why? Ichia Abalanze, if I were you, I would not be asking all these questions. I will do as I was instructed. You know, Ogwefi, Idejobu, he's a man of many sides. When he tells you to do anything, you do it as he told you. Hmm? In Igbo land, Mbano, you leave the first son and continue business with the second one, Mbano. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mami Shoma, why is it difficult for you to answer my question? I know he came here with, with, with one of his too many lies. Of a fact. Go ahead and, and answer my question. Tell me what he said. Why are you not telling me what both of you discussed? Why? Huh? Because what he came here to say has nothing to do with you. Chido <laughs> why don't you just use your time for something very useful? And, and quit all this nonsense you're doing, going around the whole of Umuatora, looking for who said what and what whoever said. True. <laughs> It is possible that, that, that he came here with one of his popular and familiar message. The message that he normally preach every now and then. That he is in love with your daughter, Ishiyama, and he would like to marry her. If that was the discussion, please do not listen to, to, to that message. Because he has already preached it to many of our medics. Yes. Uh, yeah, say, huh? What did you just say? Who are the maidens he has proposed to? Maidens of, of, of this our land. He discovered that marriage is the main thing that attracts the maidens. He's using that too to, to humble our maidens. He has humbled hum so, so, so many that I can confirm to you. You know where to find me. When you need me, look for me. I am going. When you need me, Find me! Could this be true? That he has been proposing to our maidens? Our lands of a bag and I was supposed to bring me money he borrowed last year. And I'm aware he came here today. Am I not the owner of the money? Why would you collect money from him and why would you not tell me about it? The owner of all the money in our family is a Gwefi Dejo. You should be the one to answer that question. Why come to me? Why? Listen to me, Gweza. This money belongs to me. I am the first son. And you will not say you do not know the position of the first son in all families in Iboland. Ebubagla, I am not disputing that fact. Yes, you are the first son. You manage the whole money in our family. But you don't have any money of your own, do you? Do you? Is that an insult or what? I don't know what you call it. Ebubagla, the money you're managing is our father's money. Not your own. The money belongs to our father. And if you think what we are doing is not right, you should go to the masquerade itself, not me. Good 
Yo pa lo kuku. Ivo na azuka. Onya ala. Seeking integrity. Oh, I don't want to create any tension here. I want you to tell me why our Lazar would bring the money, the money he owes me, money that should come directly to me, and you advise that it goes to my younger brother. Oh, Obuefi, I know you can hear me. Come out and tell me why you would give such an instruction. I met our Lazar, and he told me that an instruction has been passed across the community that henceforth. Everyone should pay and borrow from Igweze. Obwefi. Obwefi. Obwefi, why are you sleeping when your house is on fire? The instruction you gave us regards who money should be paid to will disrupt this family. I am the first son of this household and I cannot sit by and watch someone else take my place. Get up now and tell me why you gave that instruction. But if you get up and explain yourself, Father, Father, Obuefi, hey, Obuefi. Mother, wake up. Father is dead. Mother! Mother! Mother, wake up. Father is... Mother. Hey. Mo Mother! Hey. Hey. Mother. Mother! Hey! No! Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you Obuf he was an evil man? Yet you did not believe me. Now he has killed himself and killed her mother. Why didn't he kill himself alone? Something tragic has happened to this family. I need quietness around here. I'm trying to think on the way forward. What useless way forward are you thinking about? You still don't believe that Obuf he was evil? I will advise you say only the things you know. Greatness has many sides. Our father was a great man. He has joined his ancestors in peace without disturbing anybody. We have a duty to bury him as a great man. Biko kulonu agu maka nke di niruka nke di niruka o nke di niru amaka o seeking integrity my dear seeking integrity seeking integrity seeking integrity it makes the world go round seeking integrity seeking integrity seeking integrity why didn't I tell anybody? Could it have stopped this? We can't be everywhere. We need one another. Seeking integrity. Money makes you want. It has happened. Wefi de Jubudu has gone the way of his ancestors. Now your reign has started. You must try everything possible not to join issues with your brother. His frustration is already perfected in the spirit. And very soon, he will have reason to run away from Umatwara. You don't have to argue with the one that holds the key to your destiny. I know all that. But there's something I don't understand. What? My father never mentioned it to me. I know, and I know he wasn't expecting it. Your father was half human, half spirit. And I need you to understand that there is nothing that is happening in your family that he didn't plan. My father departed with our mother. 
They died the same day. The same way. And you are telling me you planned it all. That is part of the uh, secret agreement we have in the other. Any member who has a wife who is still sexually active must have to aspire with the woman. Because leaving her would be very dangerous. Any man who goes into her will die after two days. That was the case with your mother. And that's why your father departed with her. Avoid that kind of disaster. Wavy. Wavy never said this to me. The more you live, the more you are exposed to new mysteries. I promise your father that I will stand by you. And I am committed to that promise. Go and meet the head of uh, the Abia Masculine Group. Discuss with them. They must perform tomorrow when we bury your father. Isioma, I'm trying so hard to understand what you're saying right now. Are you saying you will not see the prince? Mother, I still don't understand why you want me to go and see the prince. I do not have any business with him. Isioma, must you have a business with every young man that comes here looking for you? Listen to me, my dear. The prince came here himself. He did not send anyone to come and get you. Something any man in his position would do. But he didn't do it. He only asked you to come and see him because I told him you wouldn't be coming back till sunset. If you ask me, I love his humility. Are you still saying you will not go and see him? Mother, there is something you do not know about me. Wealth and affluence are nothing to me. Men who believe those are the only things they can use to attract a lady to their side are wrong when it comes to me. I don't even see them, Mother. So, what do you want? A poor man who cannot even afford ordinary otangeli for you. Mother, you know I can always afford otangeli. Why are you making this an issue? It's okay. I will go and see him because of you. But mother, you have to start learning your daughter. I am very different from others. Seek ye integrity. Seek ye integrity. Seek ye integrity. It makes the world go round. I don't understand what is going on here. I think someone is actually acting a scheme. Why are you acting up? Why? What do you mean acting up? You are here to see the prince. And I just told you that the prince has gone to see To see his sick grandmother. Yeah? He will come back tomorrow. What is so difficult to understand about that? I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Yes. What does that mean? That you consider me a liar or what? Eh? There's only one way I'll convince myself. If you let me into this hut, let me check if the prince is not there hiding and you are here mischievously trying to dismiss oh, me. What did I get myself into? Eh? What is wrong with this girl? I hate it so much when I'm trying to do my job as the PA to the prince. And someone who doesn't understand the job He's telling me that I don't know the job. Eh? See, see, don't, 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 don't force me to lose my regards for you. Um, Ikoya, you're here. How are you? Can someone tell me what is going on here? I, I just returned from Akama where I went to deliver a message to my grandmother. And my mother told me the prince came looking for me and instructed I should see him immediately I return. I believe you should know about the visit. As I was told, he came with someone and that description fits you. Please just, uh, go in and tell him that Sisioma of Enuagu is here.
Why are you not talking? Are you not the one my mother described as the one that came with him? Uh, Where is he? Yes, yes, yes. I was the one that came with him. And uh, unfortunately, when we came back, information got to him that uh, his grandmother is sick. You see? And uh, he, he went there to see her. <laughs> will you, uh, will you, he will come back soon. Will you uh, probably wait uh, for him? Um, no, that won't be necessary. Just, just tell him I was here. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> go on, yeah. Someone explain to me what just happened here now. Why is the prince looking for Isioma? The question should be why did you abandon Ibubogayala unto whom you were betrothed long ago? What are you doing with the prince? Yeah? Have you gone so blind that you cannot read the handwriting on the wall? Ah. Stand here and continue asking questions. The truth is that I trust you more than all the medics in this kingdom. Hmm? I want you to be very careful with that ego that, that called himself their prince. He is not qualified to have someone like you. Um, Chidezi, thanks for the compliment. But why are you calling him a he goat? Because he's a he goat. His talking tribe is moving around the village, telling all the medics that he, he will marry them. Once he succeed with, with that very maiden and take her visit away, he will start avoiding her and start saying all manner of things about the maiden. I want you to be very careful. Very, very. I know that one day, very soon, his sins will swallow him. Quote me. Quote me. Do you realize you're talking about the prince? The crown prince that will eventually emerge as king of this land and rule over you. Fear! He will not, he will, he will, he's a liar. He's a liar. He will never rule over somebody like me. A liar can never rule. A liar can never rule in Uma Torah. He is a liar. He can never. Never. What to me? Um, you're confusing me with all these things you're saying. Why are you calling him a liar? Because he, he's a liar. I was hiding so, so, somewhere. He was listening to, to the lie that proceeded out of the PA's mouth. He said that he has gone to a city to see his sick grandmother. Uh -huh. I tell you the truth. There is no sick grandmother in Osili. The lie is, is inside the hut. He is hiding away from Nkonye because he has taken advantage of Nkonye. And now you are the next target. I want you to be very careful. Very careful. Very, very careful. I can't believe this. You mean he was in there and he has left with Nkoni? My name is Chidoze Oyezoku, one of Omatoa. You will eventually confirm that what I said now is the truth. You will come back to me and say thank you. I am waiting for a thank you. Hmm. Very important. He is inside. He Can you start explaining to me what you came to do back there? So you've been planning to steal my man. I am disappointed to finally realize that you are so cheap. Akoni, so you left it before Galanya and urgently opened yourself to the prince to the extent that people now know that he has already slept with you. Deal with your shame. It has nothing to do with you. Come back here. 
You lousy maiden of Enuago. How dare you walk out on me? I ask again, what are you doing with my man? I have taken this first attempt as an innocent mistake. And I was trained to forgive innocent mistakes. If you believe that you have something inside of you, touch me again as I leave. Seek ye integrity, seek ye integrity, seek ye integrity, it makes the world go round. Seek ye integrity, seek ye integrity, seek ye integrity, it makes the world go round. If I born in a mini new one, you can we get to do, because you can we get to do. I I don't know about this, Yoma. But you see, I can swear she knew you were in. I hate that girl. Hmm? You came to visit a man and they informed you that he's not around. Why didn't you leave? Are you asking me? Uh, don't, don't, don't just ask me some questions that will make me remember what you did. Yeah? You turned me into a liar, and I don't like that at all. Do you know what, Elodie? Yeah. Nko here is not an issue now. Hmm? Now we've confirmed that Isioma is a maiden of astonishing beauty. She is the woman who will go for. Hey, have you made up your mind on this Isioma already? <laughs> yeah? Elodie, yeah? there are questions you just cannot ask. Yeah? She has the class to reject the beat of Omaliko. You see, our original fear was that she may eventually turn out to be a maiden that has no class. But now we've seen her, and um, we've confirmed that uh, she's kingdoms ahead of Mkyoye. She is the woman for me. And we are going back to Enuago this night. Eh? Hey, are you for it? Is this you for me? Are you this heartless? And you still parade yourself as the crown prince and the hair apprentice? No, yeah, 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 the woman don't just provoke me with your reckless choice of words. What would you say he's parading himself? He's a crown prince and heir apparent to the throne! Of course you're a liar. Working for a liar. Why won't you support your liar boss? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. You hid in your heart. And asked him to dismiss me because you now see a better maiden in his yoma. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This same bead you gave to me that humbled my heart was actually from a dirty heart. Let the goddess of virgins judge you. Why would she do this? Eh? To prove to me that uh, she, she has class too. Why, why are you not concerned with the issue that just came up now? Eh? What issue? Why are you bothered about Nkonye and whoever she, she, she did? I thought you would be bothered with her introduction of the goddess of maidens in this matter. Eh? Elodie. Eh? I am the prince of this land and the goddesses cannot rise against a man of my type. We are going back to Enuago this night, like I said. Huh? Get ready. Take this. 
Seeking integrity, seeking integrity, seeking integrity. It makes the world go round. Seeking integrity, seeking integrity, seeking integrity. It makes the world go round. Mother, he was inside his hut and asked his personal assistant, the one that came with him, to dismiss me. You see why I did not want to tell you that Chidoze was here? So because he told you that, you now believe that that was exactly how it happened? Ha! You see, your man. Why are you so unwilling to give this young man a chance? Well, mother, I met Igwezi on my way here. And he told me that he lost his parents and that they will be buried tomorrow. I am sincerely thinking of what to do for him in this his moment of loss. I do not want to think about liars. Greetings, mother. My prince, welcome. Thank you. It's a Mahawi. I came back and I was told you came. I felt very sad that I wasn't there. And I said to myself that the best way to show commitment is to come and see you immediately. <laughs> um, I brought this. Yes, <laughs> yes. They are the best beads in the palace. He brought them to put a smile on your disappointed face. <laughs> I told your mother when I came earlier that you are the one that means everything to me. Please, take this from my hand. Please. I swear on the sacredness of this earth that you were in your heart when I came. I swear that you are a liar that did tell another liar to tell me that you had gone to see your sick grandmother at Osimi. I swear that your grandmother is not sick and you did not go anywhere. Now, pick sand from the ground and swear that all I have said are lies and I will accept your gift. I know you won't be able to swear because your mission is not genuine and your ways are not pure. Come, try this your act with other maidens because you will not succeed with a maiden like me. And for luring our maidens into your heart and defiling them one after the other. The goddess that oversees the virginity of all maidens will remember you soon. here this minute. Get out! Why didn't I see this coming? Nkonya, is there something you are not telling me? You look withdrawn all day. What is the problem? Father, I, I have a personal problem, but don't worry, I'll be fine. You'll be fine? And you think it has nothing to do with the confusion you brought upon yourself? What confusion? You rejected a young man whom you have been with since your life. All of a sudden, you run to somebody that just came across you. 
Simply because he presented you with a gift. Which you valued so importantly. I pray you correct yourself in time before it gets out of hand. I know you fool. Okay. Father. Mistake is something that is natural. Anybody can make mistake at any time. What you did was a mistake. I'm sure you will correct yourself in time. The earlier the better. I want you to think about it. Correct yourself. It's okay. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. It makes the world go round. Seek integrity. Seek integrity, seek integrity, it makes the world go round. If I born in a mini new one, you pon we get juju, because you pon we get juju, what pon we get you? The whole thing is like a mystery to me. Since we buried our parents, everything has collapsed in my hands. And my younger brother acts in a way that suggests he knows something I do not know. I came all the way to Ire to consult you, the great Mbanuguibwe. I was told you're the highest. Please tell me, why can't I lay my hand on money anymore? Do not fear death, for death is the end of life. Fear what comes after death. I will expire in two moons from now. But if care is not taken, all the wealth and goodwill that I acquired over the years will vanish with me. Everything depends on how you can handle it. Someone said those exact words to you. Can you remember who said it and when? Do not fear death. For death is the end of life. Fear what comes after death. I will expire in two moons from now. And if care is not taken, all the wealth and goodwill that I have acquired over the years will vanish with me. All depends on how you handle it. <laughs> Those were the exact words my father told me in that ungodly meeting where he tried to lure me. Has it got anything to do with what is happening now? Start in time to look for your own money. You refuse to be initiated into your father's cult. And they have cut you off from the line of wealth. It's as simple as that. Hey. Oh, okay, please. I, I, I need one more confirmation from you. Is my brother part of this conspiracy? I doubt if you have the right to call it conspiracy. The offer was made to you, but you refused to take the advantage. If another did, you should not hold it against him. <laughs> but... No matter what happens, I want to beg you for one thing. And what is it? Don't ever include a Bubro Galanya in my protection and business. I am going to remove the cloak around him. And then he will see whether he will be able to survive the wind of life. The wind has not even started. What you are seeing now is only the introduction and you are already complaining. Only the introduction. What wind are you talking about? The wind of your father. 
Your father once told me that you are a woman. I never believed him, but listening to you now, I can see you are one indeed. That's an insult and I will not take it. It's not an insult. You have decided to solve your problem as a man. What did you do? You traveled down to Ire to go and consult a woman to solve your problem as a man. I don't even know what I'm going to tell you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I went to a woman. But now I'm finally here with you. And I strongly believe you can help me solve my problem. She has already told you exactly what you must do to solve the problem. Start in time to look for your own money. You refuse to be initiated into the court of your family. And they have cut you off from the line of wealth. It's just as simple as that. I, it is just as simple as that. I've done everything possible to forget that method. But the more I try, the more it dawns on me that I just cannot forget her. Uh, then you swallow your pride and do what she wants. Uh, what does she want? Uh, she wants you to apologize for the lies we told. And then sue an oath on the bead of Omaliko. That like if she marries you, that you will not look at another. Where is this coming from? Huh? Who told you that? Uh, I went to her in private as your personal assistant to do my job and then provide you with what makes you happy. Eh? That was what she said. And the way I'm seeing it, she's very, very serious about it. The secret beauty of Omadiko is something that, even as a king, I cannot explain what those women of old that created them matured into them. A man can undermine all oaths and go free. But any man that undermines an oath on the beats of Omadiko pays the ultimate price. <laughs> Father. I'm surprised you called me out here today to tell me about the beat of Omaliko. Yes, yes. Um, the beat of Omaliko is very crucial in our history. And as a man, I shall eventually rule as a king. You need to know all about it. Everything. My mother told me that any woman that has the beat has everything. And that she can protect her man from any danger that might befall him. How true is that? It's very true. Very, very true. Those women of old created them simply to checkmate their men. Because some mystical powers found their ways into the beads and they became so powerful, then expensive. The men made them expensive and the women sold them off. Zoom men tried to make new ones. But the new ones could not command the power that the old ones had. Enquiries were made. And they were advised to stop. Because the spirit of Omaliko has left the craft. They stopped making the beats and now the few ones available have become a huge treasure in the land. What do you mean by women of old making the beats to checkmate their men? <laughs> few of them that had it lured their men to swear on them that they would never cheat on their wives. Many men swore ignorantly and they all died after cheating on their women. It was then it dawned on the men that their wives have created a monster in the land. Any woman that can lure her husband to swear on the beats of a Maliko, that woman is a noble woman. For such a woman, 
I never cheat on the husband. And if the said man can control himself, then let him go ahead and enter the oath and be happy forever. Are you making this up? Or did she actually tell you that I must swear on the sacred bead of Omaliko? <laughs> I went to her like I said already. What I told you, what she said. I saw, I, I, I saw your mother in, in, in my dream last night. You are one of the people that called me to the say they drunk. Yes, I did not drink with your money. <laughs> I came here to give you a message I got from the home mother. What did I get? What did I get from the same priest that beat the sips? Insult. I will go with my message. If you wake up from the sleep that they are sleeping now, if you need the message or the revelation, find your way to my to my hut and get out. I will get I out. I said get out. Very soon. To be very late. I said get out. Boom. I will go. Boom. And you? Why are you parading yourself as my personal assistant? And you cannot do anything. Ha. Ha. A drunk insulted me, the prince of this land. And you did not do anything. Under normal circumstances, a good PA would have slapped him. Why didn't you slap him? Ah, ah, my prince. Brutality is not what will make part of royalty. I know I've said this to you before. Yeah? And I demand to know what exactly you mean by that. Hey, uh, if I if, if I if I slap Chidos here, uh, the self acclaimed Oyezu of Mwatora. A fight will break out here. Yeah. I, I, I may kill somebody, and he may kill somebody too. Are you ready for that? Yeah. <laughs> Seek integrity. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. It makes the world go round. Seek integrity, seek integrity, seek integrity. It makes the world forget everything, Dugueze. Do not forget I'm still your elder brother. That is the reason why I left my father's compound for you as the first son. I came here to build my own house so I can live the kind of life I wish. Why are you still disturbing me? Why? I made consultations. I consulted all trusted authorities that could tell me the truth. And I confirmed that you offered yourself to be initiated into that same cult I rejected. How is that my problem? Did I advise you not to accept? I haven't said it's a problem. I just need some clarification. Does this new cult you have become a member of have anything to do with the frustration I'm going through? There are questions you cannot ask a man like me. No. And I know you don't expect me to answer it. Ibubogle. Keep on consulting the whole seers in this community. I believe one day you will have answers to your question. Igweze. I bought this gun from Oka. And I took it to our father with you and he blessed it. And I have killed so many animals with this gun. But since father's death, I haven't managed to kill even a rat. You see, I don't understand you. And again, how does that consign me? A Wagala, you know I don't like hunting. I don't have interest in hunting. Why are you still disturbing me? I am not talking about just hunting. I am talking about everything. What have you and father done to me? I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't mind, I would like to be left alone. 
leave my company. You once told me that ever since your mother died, that she has never appeared to you in your dream. Hmm? Exactly my point, Ilode. She has never appeared to me. And she has never appeared to my father. Suddenly, a drunk comes here to say that my mother appeared to him. That's an insult. And you don't expect me to take it. That was why I expected you to slap him, which you never did. My prince, you are just getting angry for nothing. Eh? You dismiss him because he mentioned your mother. Does it not appear to you that uh, she might appear to him for real? Stop yeah. that, Elodie. How could my mother appear to a drunk? Uh, my prince, why are you not getting all this? Eh? He referred to you as the prince that beauty deceives. And what is your take in that? Eh? Why are you sounding as if you're, you're siding Chidos here? Uh, my, 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 my prince, I, I, I'm, I'm trying uh, to make some sense here. Yeah? Consider what you've been through in the hands of millions. Yeah? A prince like you, with all the money at his disposal, can no boss of a maiden he can call his woman. Huh? You will fall in love with a maiden today, and you will go all out to get her. Once you test the woman in her, yeah, you start look, you start to look elsewhere. Yeah, it, it seems as it seems as if pity is is deceiving you for real. Why don't you consider what he's saying? Uh, uh, it's okay. Shut up. Your father said glorious things about you that night when you were brought in here for your initiation. You equally made good representation of yourself. Why are you now sounding so different like a man who is weak? I am not weak. I'm only briefing you on the happenings. Reality has done on him. He lost everything. But I have a feeling that he's preparing for war. Igweze, I will advise you to look ahead to what is coming. Don't bother yourself about him, for he is nothing. One more thing, Oza. Go ahead. I want to get married and reach family. I was planning on that before my father passed on. And now that I'm a full member of this great order, can I go on with my plans? I have no problem with you taking a wife. But you remember all that your father said about women. They are sweet. And they are good. But that is not all about women. They are weak. But in their weakness, they are stronger than men. That is why a woman can kill the strongest of men. Master them and live. Take them for granted. You are gone. And you two over here. Okay. So before noon, we should have gathered the whole area. Okay? Okay. Alright, get All right. to it. How do you mean? This is my land. Have you gone mad? What is... Now, if you do not get out of here now, I will blow your head off. You're pointing a gun at me in my land? I am talking to all of you! Get out of here now! Out! Alright, let's go. Go, go, go. Let's go. You're pointing a gun at me. I will kill you, Tijoka, if you don't get out now! Move it! Out! It's your good. I'm surprised with this call. Why will you summon me before the secretary for a meeting with the same man who went into my land without my consent? A man of this land has just been chased out of his land at gunpoint. That is an abomination in Umwetwara. 
You know that. And that is why we are here before the secretary to deal with that. You're getting it all wrong. I did not chase this man out of his land. I chased him out of my own land. I cannot remember engaging the services of anybody on my land. So why would you call that an abomination? Did you give me any chance to make an explanation? Rather, you pointed your gun at me and drove me and my workers out of my own land. Now, your father sold that land to me. Your father transferred ownership of that land to me. I am the owner of that land now. So why are you saying it's your land? I hope you're not listening to this, this liar. He's not a liar. I was a witness to the transaction he referred. Your father sold that land to him. The transfer of ownership was sealed, not only before Odenigugu, the ancient shrine of truth, but with the bid of Amaliko. You are the person that intruded into his land and you should be apologizing to him. Never. I will never apologize to this intruder. You are standing before the secretary of the people and want to dare the gods? Ichi! Ichi Ogudo? Yes. This is a clear case of a man of Umatora trying to take what belongs to another. Why are you bringing the gods into it? Because without the gods, we are nothing. I swear. I swear by the secretary. He has gone to the extreme to prove his case. Do the same thing before us. Take the sand and swear that your father did not sell the land to him. And we will all go home and wait for the gods to set the records straight. I... I don't know what trap you have set before me. But I'll be back. She's joking. Go back to your work. We couldn't have done it. No, no, no. Because we let the cost He told me that my father collected money for that land. And the transaction was sealed not only before the Nigugu, the shine of truth, but also on the bead of Omaliko. Wait, wait a minute. An Ishia of this land took the pains and offered all these explanations to you. And you are still here disturbing me? I don't understand this, Nzamama. Chijoka even picked sand from the ground and swore that my father collected money for that land. I can't believe this. They did all these things you are explaining now. To prove to you that they, 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 they weren't lying. And you are still here disturbing me. Please. Did my father collect money for the land? And what will you do if I confirm to you that your father actually sold that land? I just want you to go ahead and confirm to me on your honor as the only man who knows my father very well. That he collected money for the land and I will figure out what to do. Do not fear death. For death is the end of life. Fear that which comes after death. I will expire in two moons from now. And if care is not taken, all the wealth and all the goodwill I have acquired over the years will vanish with me, depending on how you handle it. I just repeated the exact words your father once spoke to you as a son a first son that he loved very much. You failed to handle it then like a man. And all those things you failed to handle then, they are back now handling you. 
Sir Mama, what are you talking about? What are the things handling me? Everything has collapsed in my hands. I, I don't have anything anymore. All the people I looked up to for help have abandoned me. It's like they have pulled the carpet under my feet. They made a jest of you for coming to a woman. I was thinking you'd start avoiding me. You came back to me because you believe there is something I could do. Exactly. I came back to you because I believe there is something you could do to help me. Please save me. I'm, I'm a drowning man. We live in a world where people can do all things. We live in a world where people can go all out. Hey, we live in a world where, where people, people can tell whose lies just to be in money. This world is vanity. This world is vanity. This world is vanity. Earthly treasures. This world is vanity. Your father, while he lived, never prayed with Nzu. Because of the various evil places he committed himself in his quest to dominate, he lacked the moral audacity to pray with Nzu. That is the witness on his part. But in that witness lies your resurrection. My, my brother once mentioned something about my father and the Nzu. Tell me, what do I do with this to capitalize on the said weakness? This is a sign of purity and uprightness in Igbo land. Any man who can pray with Nzu, in public or private, can pray to the gods. Your help can only come from the gods. Forget your father and look unto the gods. The only thing I could say to you now is that I'm sorry. Yes, I've reflected over all that happened and it's now clear to me that you are the one I need as a wife. The one that will rule as the queen of the new Umatora that we anticipate. Looking and listening to you, I can say you've become better than the Prince Obiora I used to know. <laughs> mm. I'm happy you said those words. I know exactly what they mean. You are now seeing me as the man. And I'm very excited. I make you one promise here. I will love you all the days of my life. Are you not just going too fast? You've become a better person. That is a fact and I am glad. But please, on the topic of marriage, please allow me to think it further. No. Why are you doing this to me? Hmm? Why are you trying to break my heart again? That is because you do not know me. The only thing you know about me is that I once rejected this same bead of Omaliko that you just forced into my hand. And for that, I am a different maiden entirely. Exactly, my love. You're one of a kind. A different maiden entirely far superior to others. I got closer to you and I discovered that you are the best. Now that you have accepted the bid from me, please just say yes. Say yes and I will be the happiest man in this Umatora. I came here alone because I wanted this to be a private chat between us.
I have been told not once, not twice, but several times that you always come to Enuagu to visit my woman and to mess around with her. I never believed it. Simply because I thought you were smart enough not to want to cross paths with me. Oh, how wrong I was. Tell me, what are you doing here? Shut up. Is it because of these cheap, borrowed ways that make you look like royalty that gave you the effrontery to talk to me, the prince of this land? Hmm. <laughs> prince of which land? Tell me, are you remaining anywhere? Is this not you? You have spare anywhere? Tell me. Of what grudge do you have to pay my woman a visit? Um, please, just come with me this moment. And don't even say no. Come on, please. Mururus na wata klebo so na avo ko na war. O ena mare be mili no mavia. Ha na a mare bo no mako nya mako. Because I was saying it in your eyes. You want to keep him and possibly start a fight with him? Did you hear what that son of a fool said? Of what right does he have to qualify what I'm putting on his bro? I will not stand here to discuss what one man said to the other. Men are always using harsh words on one another. I am surprised you're speaking this way. Well, I wasn't going into that. Of who gave him the right to visit you? Have you been encouraging that? Because we are not even yet married. You are still trying to win my love. He is equally trying to do the same thing. He has been asking me to be his wife. And you allowed him to stand there and be talking to you? Why don't you tell him we are, we are engaged? <laughs> we are engaged? <laughs> How? I mean, when? Isiyama, why don't you come out straight and make me understand you? Or you want to marry him instead? Because <sighs> there is something you need to know about me. Something I once told my mother. Wealth and affluence mean nothing to me. Men who think those are the only things they need to attract a maiden to their side are wrong when it comes to me. I do not even see them. You and the prince are in that group. So if you are dressed like this simply to impress me, I'm sorry you misfired. I am not impressed. I don't blame you for it's not your fault. I don't know what you want to say. But I don't know what you see in that useless print that make you think we're of the same category. My conclusion is based on nothing. I am the one that's been interacting with the both of you. I know what runs in your heads. And I believe both of you are the same. You see, I might take that as an insult. How could you? How could you put me in the same group with that useless prince? I gave you the sacred bead of Omaliko in the quest to win your heart. That is the highest gift any woman of this kingdom can get. I gave you that gift because I see you as a great woman. 
why belittle me by putting me in the same in the same level with that useless prince that has never seen the beat of Amaliko all his life? This is the same beat of Amaliko that makes you think that you are superior to him. He has it too and has made the same offer. No, this is not happening. You rejected mine and accepted his. Weze, I accepted nothing from him. He practically forced it into my hand and I was trying to deal with it before you entered. If you're really sure you want to marry me, you have to study me some more. My name is Isioma of Enuago. I am very different from other maidens in this land in a way that is mysterious to many. Even my own mother cannot boast of knowing me. You see, we must keep drinking until we render this cake empty and useless. Hmm? Take your turn. No, 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 no. Hi. I am not here to drink. Eh? Why are you luring me deeper and deeper into alcohol? Yeah? Hi. See, <coughs> in order, I must bring you to my room. I must bring you to my left. So that if I talk, you will understand. It is an abomination for a man in my caliber. To speak to a man that his eyes are, are, are pure and natural. Your eyes are clear. You must come and get your eyes dotted before I will speak. Drink! So that if I talk it, you will get it. Hey, here. I am here to get some clarification concerning the dream you said you had. You know this already. Why are we drinking alcohol and not discussing what brought me here? Had it been you continue drinking, maybe by now I would have finished telling you everything I know about the dream that centers on beauty that deceives. Eh? You stop drinking and you expect me to talk. Before I say anything about the dream, he must be here. He must be here? Oh yes. Who, who must be here? Obiora, the one you call the prince. Ah. See, the Obiora you never day and night to protect. If me must say anything on that dream, eh? he must be here in person. I have finished talking. Hey. Should you see, should you see? Why are you making this thing very difficult? Eh? You know it yourself that there is nothing I will tell Prince Obiora that will make him come here. It's not possible. Oh, you, oh, you, I understand this. Yeah. Hey, Lord, then let me be. Huh? Let me be. I will sit down here. I will sit down here and watch him make the same mistake. You see the dream? It has already given me a new understanding of many things in this our kingdom. And for me, <laughs> if it's not ready to come, I will sit down here and keep drinking until it will happen. Thank you. If you are not ready to, to take some more, leave my presence. Yeah? I, 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 I am not ready to take it. You are not ready to take it. You are not ready to take it. I don't want to be angry. Okay. <laughs> take one more. I will tell you the secret. One more. No, it's not possible. Give me back my cup, you have half size of human being. Drink and, and get understanding. You are here talking talking nonsense. Me, ha, ha, half size of human being. You're not even half. Me. You are a quarter size of human being. Leave my presence. I used to be very angry when you see if I'm angry, I will remember you that I did karate. If I kick my leg upstairs, you see yourself in the next kingdom. Leave here in my presence, you have yeah. get that, leave here. Me? Oh yes. There was a woman of Isele Olisa Kingdom named Awele. She was a very beautiful woman. In the history of Isele Olisa, she was the most beautiful. Men of Isele Olisa believed that she was a gift from the gods. 
And that up till now, no other woman is as beautiful as she was. Can I end this narration now, mother? My name is Isioma, a maiden of Enuago, in Umatwara Kingdom. I am not from Iselulisa. And I sincerely don't know why you are telling me about a woman from Mr. Lulisa that you are qualifying in the past. Isioma, I'm telling you about Awele, the woman of Iselulisa, because in you, I see another Awele breathing under my nose. Mother, I don't understand what you mean by that. Awele was so beautiful, just like you. But she allowed her beauty to get into her head. She didn't see any man worthy enough to grace the woman in her. Isioma. Keep on rejecting every man that comes your way. I see you ending up without a husband. And when that time comes, sorrow shall do what the ecstasy you feel at the moment. I'm not surprised, mother. I already told them that you are my mother, but you do not know me at all. Mother, I know your fear that I will not get married and end up here someday. I will get married someday. But to a man that respects the traditions and customs of this kingdom. Not one who is born into greatness and thinks that he is great already. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. It makes the world go round. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. Seek integrity. It makes the world go round. He refused to say anything tangible to me. But from what I gathered, your late mother appeared in his dream for me. Please, Elodie. Hmm? Allow what? me to think. I had a terrible experience today in Enuago. Eh? And I must figure out what to do. Chidoze is the least of my worries right now. Please. Terrible experience. What terrible experience did you have in Inuago? In that fool named Igweze, ah. the son of Obuefi Idejobodo, paid her a visit while I was there. Is that what you call terrible experience? Yeah? We are both aware that he was already going there before we appeared in the picture. Why would his, his, his coming there be a terrible experience? Yeah? You see your problem? Hmm? Your problem is that you will never allow someone to speak. His arrival is not a terrible experience. But the way he dressed. That fool came dressed like a prince. In fact, he dressed like a king. Huh? He made me look ordinary. And possibly because of the way he dressed, she abandoned me and went out with him. Hey. Ah. This is very serious. I, <clears throat> I thought they said she is very principled. Yeah? Why would she do a thing like that? I don't know. Hey. The thought of not marrying that maiden is already driving me crazy. The more reason you must make out time to see Chido's here. It is possible all these things are the things he referred to as the beauty that deceives. Hey, shut up. If I hear you mention the name of that fool again, I will slap you. You heard me, right? Can you do it? Can you slap me when you know you are nothing without me? Huh? Okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, the bead of Omaliko that you left with, did you return with it? All those are the problems I faced 
in Enuago. She collected the beef from me and still had the guts to walk out on me when he arrived. Oh. Oh. What a pleasant surprise. You came all the way from Enuago this night. I must honor this visit. Please come and sit down. <laughs> Um, my prince, I have not come to sit. I saw a fight brewing. I had to take him out to talk some sense into him. By the time I returned, you had gone. I know you may be feeling bad. That's why I had to come here this night to explain all this to you. I believe you may not sleep well if I fail to come for this explanation. A man that sits on a mountain of money, and your word must be law in this land. Woman, you know that because you're intelligent. But that fool that parades himself as the prince does not know. I shall teach him a lesson of his life. What else am I doing if not to carry out your instructions? Give the required instruction and tomorrow the king must be presented with the bad news that his son has been manhandled by an angry mob. On a second thought, I think it's the issue of Enuagu we need to touch. My lord, why are you thinking of a woman? I was not trained to mingle with women. Woman, I did not ask you to mingle with her. Why would you even think a thing like that? I gave her the sacred bead of Amaliko and she rejected it. She had the audacity to collect the same gift from Prince Obiora. And some will sin before my face. She must pay. She must pay. Give me a few days and I shall tell you what to do with her. She needs to pay. You came all the way from Enuago to return the bead I gave you in love. You're wrong to say that you gave me this bead. You practically forced it into my hand. That is not acceptable to me. I had to return them this night to you so you don't feel I am keeping your kingdom treasure. Good night. Isoma, please wait. I'm so sorry for forcing it into your hand. Please forgive me. Here am I offering it to you back in love. Please take that from my hand. Um, I, I can't talk about this tonight. Maybe some other time. Not this night. Good night. The more she rejects me, the more I love her. What else can I do to make her love me? What? Do not look at the character of the messenger. Concentrate on the message he bears. Oh? First thing tomorrow morning, we are going to see Chidozia. His dream is... Uh, ah! Big time. Be careful. No. I can't remember the last time I saw you here. In fact, since I buried my mother, you've never showed up. So what are you doing here? Finally, I am here. 
I was moved to pity with what I saw yesterday. I remember you told me something about him. If truly you love him, this is the time for you to show it. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? Ebube Ogaranya. What about him? The same Ebube Ogaranya. You once told me that he is the blood that runs through your vein. He is presently a wreck. And why are you pretending as if you don't know what I am talking about? Or you are not aware? Do you understand what it means for someone to be a wreck? Why then do you introduce Ebu Bograya to be a wreck? Why? That is what he is right now. He told me that the carpet was pulled under him by his father. He is a wreck because he is ugly and has nothing to eat. Are, are you talking about Ebubo Garanya or you're talking about someone else? I know the meaning of love. Because the man that married me loves me truly. If truly you ever loved this young man, it is the time for you to do something. Because he might take his own life. We still need him in Umatora. For he is a good man. You poor Galaya. Doesn't have food. No, that, that, that's impossible. Someone is undermining royalty, and I wonder why. Stop right there. You know, I am wondering what you're going to say to me. A man who is a prince is a prince forever. Can you continue to judge a prince based on what you heard from others? Huh? You are above that level. Abiora! My decision to leave you was not based on what people said. Listen, seven of our maidens have brought to my knowledge that you proposed marriage to them and took their virginity by deceit. Obiora, tell me, why should I remain with a character like you? Listen, there is something about you that I've never seen you. Oh, spare me those lies that you've been telling practically all the maidens in this land. Obiora, I am sorry to say this to you, but you are a disgrace to royalty. Come back here, Chugo. You know the highest thing you can do to me is hit me. Go ahead. Hit me. Go ahead and hit me. And my brother will skin you alive. If I born in a mini new one, you won't wake your juju. Because you won't wake your juju. What won't we get you cool? My coin and my baby, me receive you the mobile. Okay, I'm a bug. I could see you. This is a sign of purity and uprightness in Ibo land. Any man who can pray with Unzu. In public or private, can pray to the gods. Your help can only come from the gods. Forget your father and look unto the gods. I remember what Mbanugui told me about Nzu being the symbol of purity in Igbo land. I come before you today 
and I pray you to purify me and lift me from the abyss my father has pushed me. By the God, I'm an upright man of Umatora. From what I have gathered, this young man may emerge the king of this land. He has already built this royal network around him that over 80% of the men in council are already in support of him. Ezugili cannot even stop him because Igweze is unstoppable. Isoma, why don't you say yes to this man who has been able to silence the king? Why are you giving me the impression that all you care about is wealth? Because I am not a pretender. Wealth is very important and people function better when they have it. Isioma, why are you chasing away all the blessings the gods are bringing towards you? Eh? Why don't you just say yes to this man and stand a chance of being the queen? Mother, I am already a queen. A queen of my own. I do not need to get married to a man who does not even have regard for the customs of this land to become one. I need to go to Nekawit and make my own. I shall be here to see that kind of man who would finally settle. As for now, I will not say anything concerning it anymore until that day comes. Well, mother, that will be nice. Just relax and watch. I need to go now. <laughs> I'll see you later, mother. Hey. Thank you very much. You don't know what you have done for me. I really appreciate it. I will never forget this. Thank you again. Thank you. I gave you the exact money you asked for. Because I was humbled with the fact that a man like you came to me, a widow, to ask for money. Please don't drive me to tears with your words. I simply need this money to appease the spirit of my father. I tried to pray with Dinzu, but I was attacked by a strange force. I consulted a seer and I was told that the spirit of my father is angry with me. And I know why. I want to go and appease him so that I can launch a comeback. There's a voice crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord and make his path straight. Sorry, what are you talking about? Now I know why you came to me. It's not what you think. I'm the only woman who could give you money. You are here because God is interested in your soul. You are saying so many things and I'm confused. I, I, where, where are you coming from? You cannot appease the spirit of your father. You cannot appease the spirit of your late father. For that spirit is judged by God. The Bible says there is appointed unto men to die once. And after that judgment. What you need to do is to give your life to Christ. And he will lift that burden that weighs you down. God brought you here today to hear his voice. And I'm pleading with you to hearken to this message of deliverance and salvation. Please. That is what they say. But that is a lie. Integrity makes the world go round. Money makes the world go round. That is what they say.
But that is a lie. Integrity makes the world go round. If I born in a mini new one, you Because you pull we get juju. What pull we get you cool? My coya, my baby, me receive you, my boy. Okay, I'm a bog, I could see you. Come and read your fault that you saw. Because you long ago, my can get in Iruka. You left my presence in anger. And you've refused to come back to the palace. I came to know what the problem is. Is that why you came here? Mm. Okay, well. I want to handle this matter the way you should be handled. Decisively. You are the one that has a problem. Not me. And it will never be me. Do you say that to me? Eh? Have you forgotten I'm the crown prince of this land? And that give you the right to slap me? Eh? Because I was telling the truth? Eh? I am Elodi, the son of a titled man in Umuatora. You don't have the right to slap me. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Hmm? It dawned on me that uh, I overreacted. I came to apologize. Please forgive me. Hmm? I want you to come back to work. Uh, in fact, I want us to go back to the palace now. I, I have forgiven you already. Hmm. If I have not forgiven you, I will be standing here with you talking. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elod. Hmm? I have always known I could rely on you. So, can we go back to the palace now? Uh, I will go back to the palace with you only on one condition. And that is? Which you should swallow your pride that will put you into trouble and follow me to uh, 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 Chiduze's house. Uh, he must tell us the dream he had and then uh, how to handle it. Uh, if you do this, then I will follow you to the palace afterwards. Do you know what? You are very stupid to say that to me. How dare you? Eh? In fact, don't come back with me again. Stay here and uh, continue waiting for that useless dream. And uh, let me warn you. If I ever hear that you have gone ahead to discuss me with anyone, I'm going to kill you. Nonsense. Ta! Ta! You! Eh? I presented you with a golden opportunity to make this right. Eh? You just ruined everything. Can you with God? Let me tell you for your information. You cannot kill a man like me. You cannot. If you want to kill anybody, then it must be yourself. God, look at I have to kill you. Kill who? I have never seen you before, but I can tell from your hairdo that you are not a maiden of this land. If I may ask, how come you know so much about me? That I know so much about you shouldn't bother you. Are you not the maiden who dates the prince of your land? You ought to be in everyone's eyes. Well, I don't know what you mean by being in everyone's eyes. I am just a normal maiden who lives a normal life here. And just so you may know, I used to date the prince. Not anymore. Hmm. Interesting. So you're confirming to me by your submission that whatever you had with the prince was in the past. And as a matter of fact, you're no longer interested in him. What is this about? You're interested in the prince or what? Would you come for my head if I am? Why should I? Listen, I am Chugo. A maiden of this land that can never go back to her vomit. Obiora is a he-goat. And if you're so interested in him, please go for him. And be rest assured that I will never come for your head. Excuse me? You are leaving without introducing yourself properly. That's not the right thing to do. Please. Who are you? My name is Enenebe. A maiden of Ezio who is glorious in and 
I am the fire that burns so far. People tend to talk about me when I leave. Disappoint me and not say a word. Is that ever possible? She's strange. Who is she? There's a man named Job in the Bible. When the tempter went to obtain permission from God to tempt him, he confirmed that he was in the habit of moving to and fro the earth, tempting people and causing confusion. Until now, he is still in that mission. You know, I am trying to understand what has my visit to your house got to do with the story of the tempter? It has everything to do with it. For as I'm looking at you here, the spirit of the Most High God is ministering to me that you are not what you said you are. There is something about you that is not connecting well with the spirit of the resurrected Christ. Who are you? And what are you doing in my place? You see, I ran into a before Galanya. And he told me you have been telling him things about the pattern from the ways of his father to follow you to something which he doesn't even know anything of. And I'm here to ask you, why are you deceiving a young man of this land? <laughs> to those that have decided to go astray. The teachings of the cross will remain foolishness to them. Shut up and say what you know. What I know is our Lord Jesus Christ. And he knows me. In the name of the resurrected Jesus, I rebuke every evil spirit that is speaking through you. The blood of Jesus that is shed on the cross of Calvary is more than enough to deliver those who believe. Cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Against every principality, every power, every force of darkness. Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Who are you and what do you want from me? You have done what I want you to do. The widow has to be stopped, for she has no share in my legacy. I still don't understand what you're talking about. Who is the widow and what legacy are you talking about? What are you still doing here? I don't understand. You're supposed to be talking about the man who just disappeared here. Are you asking me what I'm still doing here? How do you mean? Who disappeared? A man appeared here and he was talking to me about stopping a widow who will not share in his legacy. I, 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 I don't even know the widow. And, and when he, you were coming, he, he disappeared. Devil, you are a liar. Devil, you are a liar! I don't know who you are, but I have to pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your son's deliverance in the name of Jesus. I pray against every principality, every power, every force of darkness upon his life. Let him please deliver him. Cover him with the blood of Jesus. Cover him with the blood of Jesus. Hmm. You are Marachi, the daughter of OKK Wako. I know your father. But, um, why is it that uh, you've never bothered to visit me in my place, your palace? Hmm? Come to your palace to do what, please? Why are you talking as if you don't have respect for royalty? Eh? I am the prince of this land, the crowned prince, and the heir apparent to the throne. Hmm. Because you're the heir apparent to the throne, you expect every maiden of this land to visit your place? <laughs> Amarachi listing. When you visit my palace, especially when you come with a sense of maturity, you will live a happy maiden. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Obiora. Prince Obiora, point of correction. Don't cut my title that means everything to me. Okay, Prince Obiora. Mm -hmm. 
Must you defile every maiden of this land before you call yourself to order? What nonsense are you talking about? Eh? What nonsense? Who are you to say that to my face? I am Amarachi, daughter of Okeke Ubaku. Continue looking for maidens that you lure to your palace that has eventually become a slaughterhouse. I will never be one of them. Oh, excuse me. Nonsense. Could this be what all these maidens discuss in private? Eh? I know you are surprised to see me in this pitiable condition. Yes, it is really me. Now I really understand the meaning of no one knows tomorrow. It will be. See, I, I, I know what you are going through now, but I'm here to assist you. I'm so shocked to, to see you like this. What happened? At least you can remember something. The mere fact that you came has lifted my spirit. You were all I had. You left me when I needed you the most. You left me shattered and broken. I'm so sorry. I'm ready to make it up to you. Please tell me what the problem is. My father warned me not to discuss it with a woman. But I guess that has been overtaken by events. I need help, like you said. And I think the people should know what happened. What is it that he told you never to discuss with any woman? Can I still trust you? Bube, you can trust me. It's still the same Koye. Koye that grew up with you. Koye that was there for you. Please, I want to know, what is the problem? That is the widow that is taking care of me already. You are coming with me to Eziowole to see the pastor. Some things are not right in your life. And you need a minister right now. What is she talking about? Which pastor in Eziole? If I born in a menenua, Jupon we get Jojo. Because Jupon we get Jojo. What one we get Sioku? Makonya my baby, me receive you the Mabayao, or Gaya Mebo Gapusio. Come and read your for the Chuzo. Biko Kulon Wago, Makan, Kedini Ruka, Kedini Ruka. Integrity, my dear. What am I saying? A goddess of what? I humble myself in greetings. Is this the abode of the king of Umatora? Yes, this is the palace of Ezeukili of Umatora Kingdom. And by the gods, I am the prince, the crown prince, and the heir apparent to the throne. Beautiful one, who are you? And what have you come here to do? My name is Enenebe. I came from Ezeukili. Glad I met you here. I have a message for you from your mother. A message from my mother? Yes, a message. She came to me in Ezewel and asked me to come here and see you. She gave me a direct message for you. Thank the gods she corrected herself. She finally sent a beautiful maiden who is absolutely qualified to bear and deliver her message. Not that drunk she allegedly sent before. 
I cannot say what you mean by that. Beautiful maiden of Ezeoweli. I hope you are not in haste to leave. Because I think we have a lot to discuss. I don't know who this woman is, but I think I believe her. Look, oh, oh my goodness. Ibubu, I'm still shocked by what you just narrated. That you refused your father initiating you into his court. And he decided to initiate your younger brother. And gave him whatever he called mantle of wealth. Why did you not open up to people before he died? He could not have opened up to people. For he lacks the powers to challenge that kind of man. His brother is living like a king and he goes around begging for arms. The, the strange power that made him not to pray with Inzu must be from his father. Not just from his father. The power was his father in person. And he's been moving around this land trying to make sure that he's completely grounded. Yes. I volunteered to help you. For helping people to come out of the shackles of evil is the ministry unto which I am called. We must proceed to Ezio immediately. At this point in my life, I don't have any right to doubt anybody who means well for me. If you want us to go to Ezio I'm ready. I don't know why you're finding it difficult to understand this. My mother sent you for a purpose. She knows I need a wife. And she merely sent you for me to see you because she believes you are the one. I will not be a fool not to take advantage of the visit. Please accept to be my wife and we will go to Eziwele to pay your bride price. I'm, I'm just confused right now. I wasn't expecting this. I, because That's the more reason you should say yes to me. Huh? Ours is love at first sight. And nothing will change that. Yes. My father. The king. The S the Ukili one of whom I told people. I hope you my friend. I humble myself before the revered king of Umatora. You shall live long. Rise, my child. <laughs> Who is she? Her name is Eneneve. The beautiful maiden from Eziwele that will rule with me as the queen of this kingdom. She came to visit me this morning and uh, we were planning to come and see you. It's awesome now that you came to us instead. There's something in you that already humbled my son. He shall marry you like he already confessed. And that same thing in you shall humble all his enemies. See, I went to him to tell him the dream I had. The information the poor mother gave to me to give him concerning the beauty that, that, that deceives. He called me a drunk and refused to listen to me. Why must I still bother myself about 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 a human being that refused to respect himself by respecting others?
the good mother cannot be angry with the baby. Because she is aware that the baby made real effort to deliver her message to her son. She should be angry with her son who decided to become a fool. This is a fool. But you know, just tell me the truth. You just caught me a normal man on the street. And you are not among among uh, uh, those you do that call themselves men of this land that you see your maidens. No, you have been making your money, and you have been spending it in things that make you happy. <laughs> you are indeed a noble man.
She refused to be mine. I wonder. Who in Umatora is qualified to have a maiden that rejects me? I must tell you the truth from the deepest part of my heart. If that maiden is not interested in you, leave her and look for another. I appreciate the truth, Nkume. I am not in the mood for truth. I am the masquerade laying the back in Umatwara. No one, I repeat, no one has the right to undermine that. Not to talk of a maiden who just did that. I have to teach her a bigger lesson. What bitter lesson can you possibly teach a maiden of this land that is known to be a virgin? Yes! I know she is a virgin. I want her to lose her virginity violently. Thank the gods! Wale Isioma and Weba! You did not say that, did you? From the machinery we have set in motion, you will be crowned the king someday. And that can happen soon. What has that got to do with my instruction? Do you know how many times I proposed to this maiden and she has refused to be mine? She decided to make mockery of my name. That cannot happen. Never. But you cannot order the rape of a maiden from Atwara. I'll go. The deity that oversees the affairs of women does not take it lightly to be a peace. <laughs> Nkume! I can see you cool wings. How dare you talk back at me? I'm not talking back at you, Ibeze. I'm only guiding you. Who told you you have the right to guide me? If I cannot tell you the truth, when you're going wrong, there's no need working for you. And where do you think you're going? I'm going back to my village, of course. Do not come for me. If you do, I shall handle you like a warrior of this land. You may be Ibeze, the terror to others. But to me, you're like soup. I shall lick you and wash the plate. Ume to work for you because he's the best warrior in Umatora. For you to finally fall out with him means you are destroyed. I am not going to remain here. Who is that? Who's throwing back my hand? I am your father, Wefi Ideji Obodo. Save your strength for the bigger war. The war with your brother. Leave strangers to go. Did you hear that? Did you? Did you hear any voice? Did you hear any voice? Hmm? No, I didn't hear anything. Before anything. you believe your father, be sure he's on the right path. Be sure he has integrity. He may not
What have you been thinking? Your countenance changed suddenly. And you've not been yourself. There's something in you that already humbled my son. He shall marry you like he already confessed. And that same thing in you shall humble all his enemies. You're not talking to me, my dear. Hmm? Please talk to me. Hmm? You don't like this room? Tell me if you don't like it, I will call the builder to build another house for us. I can do anything for the one I love. Your happiness is what I want to pursue now. I listened to your father. And from what he said, it's clear you've got too many enemies. Is that why your countenance changed? We all have enemies. And the mere fact that I'm the crown prince of this land, that has made many people to hate me. But with a woman like you, we will overcome and rule them until death. Tell me, who are these enemies of yours? Name them. Why are you concerned about my enemies? Forget them, my dear. We will start a family and um, we will concentrate on the people that are our friends. Inezio well aware I came from. We do not talk about friends without talking of enemies. The line between our friends and enemies is so thin that most times the ones we call our friends are actually our enemies. And those we regard as enemies are the ones that will save us. Nice reasoning. But fortunately for you, you ended up with a man from Uma Torah, where we do not waste time discussing our enemies. We know our enemies, and we deal with them as enemies. Who is there? Come out! Listen, Oblora, I know th th that you are in there. Come out now! I don't have all the time in the world to spend here. Hold on. I know that voice. He is one of the enemies I have in this land. If you're sure about it, then deal with it. I wonder what both of you are doing. Huh? <coughs> I know what, what I went through before I was able to convince him to come here. Don't provoke him with your, with your utterances, please. I don't get it. Who is the him? Oh, well, why are you asking a useless question? The question is not useless, and you know it. Eh? You pleaded with me not to provoke someone. Now when I ask, who is the person? Me, of course! Me! Chen the son of Kenechuku. Why is the one of Omar Torah? Your mother, your mother, the poor mother, came to me. She came to me and, and, and asked me to tell you not to be in a hurry to succumb to the antics of the beauty that, that, that deceives. And I followed her up. I said, Queen, what is the meaning of the antics of the beauty that, and who would the beauty deceive? And, and she said, the beauty that deceives is a maiden. A maiden who is entirely defied. But physically, she is glorious. And, 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 and that... Friend, shut up. I said, shut up. I know what you want. You want to provoke me and get me hit your mouth. Shut up. Now I command you, leave this compound. Now. <laughs> yeah? Why you be, why you be a fool for nothing? Yeah? I beg your pardon. Are you calling me a fool? He has no option. You actually speak like one. There are forces after you and your father. 
If you don't listen to what your mother said, you will lose the throne. Yes! Huh. Am I not vindicated? Eh? I was actually telling my woman inside huh? that you are one of the enemies I have in this land. But she could not understand it. And you're here telling me what you evil men of Umatola are planning. Nonsense. Hey! Hey, hey. You have a woman. You boldly call you a woman. And she's inside. Since when? Who is she? Stand here and be asking useless questions. Fools! My enemies! I am approved where you are. Nonsense. She die in the ocean of their thoughts. He said, huh? We shall live and see tomorrow. Mm. We shall be like tomorrow, but tomorrow never ends. Hi! 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 Get out! Hi! Get out! 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 Get Nonsense! You want to the throne? I am the prince of this land. I decide and do what I want. Rubbish! You are leaving me behind. No, no, no! Hey! You are! You are! What is it? You are coming! I am not going to say much. But you did well to have followed me. Igweza is undermining the gods of this land. And there is no need hanging around with such a character. I was actually thinking we should proceed to Enuago and alert the maiden what Igweza is planning. She has to be very careful. There are gods in this land. Yes. I strongly believe they are watching what is happening. At the appointed time, they shall tell us why they are gods. Is this not a Bubu Agarawa? When did you join Okakaro's widow? The Bubu Agarawa. My name is no longer a Bubu Agarawa, but a Bubu Olisa. For I have been baptized in Christ and risen with him. The spirit of Christ dwells in me now. And I urge you, my brethren, to please accept Christ so that he can give you rest. What is the meaning of this? Why are you blocking my path? You refuse to accept the proposal from my master, the coming king of Umwatuara. Who is the man qualified to have you? Your master, the coming king of Umwatuara. Who is he? Come on, will you shut up? Don't you ask insulting questions as if you don't know that Igweze is going to be the king. You see that your virginity, that stupid virginity, which you are keeping for that fool that you don't know. We are going to take it today. Now! My name is Isioma. I am Isioma of Inuaku. Daughter of the gods. Don't start anything stupid. For the god does not abandon us. You said... Hey! What are you doing? What have you done to 
him. If I... You told me when you came that you came with a message from my mother. And finally you said you knew why she sent me. You said you do not need a message anymore. Why then do you want to hear about it? Because I need it now. I want to reconcile it with what those fools said. Should I tell you the truth? I can't remember a thing. How is that possible? She gave you the message, and because of it, you came all the way from Eziowele. How could you forget it? Do you mean to say someone cannot forget something? I was ready to tell you all about it, but you weren't ready to listen. Hmm. You know, honesty, I cannot remember a thing. I see. Please, did she mention anything about the beauty that this... Oh, please, stop pestering me with questions. By the way, what am I even doing? She didn't even be here in the first place. What have they done here? What have they done here? What have they done here? Yes. Eh? You're scaring me by the way you're looking around. What is it? Those people that came here earlier, they left something here. They left. They left what here? I can't find anything. They left something here that isn't good for you. It's... it's... Eh? They left no. what? What are you doing here? Eh? I said, what are you doing here? When did this madness start? He came here with a testimony and a vital information from the king. Can we see the king, please? What information? Hmm? There is a miracle that just happened in my life. I came face to face with the redemption power of God. And I make bold to tell you that I've been redeemed by the power of God. Please, I want us to give God a chance in this land. You, the son of Ozo Oduakon Mili, has joined this woman in this madness? What will you tell your father when you meet him in death? There's a way that cement right unto a man. But the end thereof is destruction. The ways of the Lord will guide this kingdom into the path of righteousness. And lead you to eternal life. Hey, hey, hey. I want you to give God a chance. Hold it right there. I don't want to waste time on this. Thank you. Prince of Yara, we came here in peace. You need the redemption that comes with Christ. Do not abandon us here. God is interested in your soul. Hey, hold it right there. What a will is, woman? Are you not the same evil woman that lured Okekaro into strange teachings and finally killed him? We know your history in this land. And trust me, we will visit what happened to Okekaro someday. If you don't mind, get out of my compound. Please, Prince Obira, do not dismiss us. We're here to... I'm not interested in whatever you're here to discuss. There was a situation you met on ground. I want to attend to that situation right now. Get out. What is going on here? 
Is this a kind of joke or what? Enelebe! Enelebe, where are you? Where is she? There is no back door here. Where could she be? Enelebe! Let it not be that she's a spirit. Let it not be that I've been sleeping with a spirit. Oh, Biara, my son, my only child, the one in my heart. That's the voice of my mother. Could this be my mother? I sent someone to deliver a message to my son and his pride will not allow him to listen to the messenger. Messenger? That drunk is not qualified to deliver any message to my mother. And he left with the message. Now you have been deceived by that beauty. The beauty that deceives? Blame yourself, my son. Just yourself. The beauty that deceives? No, mother. Mother, no! Don't do this to me, mother! No! I am not making sense from what you're saying. I sent you on a specific errand to carry my instructions directly. Take her to the bush. Rape her, if possible, unto death. Then what happened? We could not have done it. For the gods fought in our favor. The gods? The gods fought in our favor? How? Igweze. My wife and I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. We came today to minister Christ to you. Earthly treasures are nothing. For they shall be judged. What you need is heavenly treasures. And Jesus Christ is that treasure. Hey, why are you dressed like this? And why are you introducing her as your wife? When did that start? Nkonye here is my wife. We wedded in Christ. And we have been baptized in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. My name is now Ebubo Elisa. I think you need a new beginning. Ebubo Agalanya, you told our mother before she died that you broken the engagement you have with this maiden because she opened herself to that useless prince. Why now call her your wife? We are children of God. And we owe ourselves Now I see the war. What war? Ebubagala, men in our family do not vomit and go back to their vomit. You vomited this immoral maiden before our father. You cannot make her your wife now that our father is no more. You cannot. I am not still planning to make her my wife. She's my wife already. Ebubagala, I am telling you that you are very wrong to think you can go back to your vomit. You. I don't want to use the spell you cast on him. Now I'm doing it. Or I will leash my anger on you. I do not have any spell here. We are in love. We've overcome the temptation that came to separate us. We are married. Leave my compound. What did you say? Leave my compound. You heard me clearly. My father told me about your plans. And I can see you already on it. That's why you have the boldness to change your name from what Obwefi Dojobodo named you. And I have right to marry the maiden you rejected before my father. Leave my compound, Ibubogla, before you see what I can do. 
There is a voice crying in the wilderness. That voice will cry in your head if you don't leave my compound. Leave! She was not human. She was an evil spirit. The goddess of virgins used in teaching your son a bitter lesson. Mbalugu, are you telling me that the beautiful maiden from Eziowele was not a human? Eh? She was not even from Eziowele. Huh. It was just something she coined on her mission to take the soul of your son. Now she has succeeded, and we must blame your son for it. Um, Banuwebe, there must be something you could do. This is my son. I don't need to remind you that he is the crown prince of the land. Yes. More reason why you should have called him to order when he started taking advantage of helpless maidens. He defiled many of them. And they kept praying secretly to the goddess of virgins. Even your late queen tried all she could within her power to force a change on him. But he refused to listen to her messenger. Mbanuwibu, this is my son. And there must be something you could do to stop this. You have handled worst situations in the past. Mbanuwibu, do something. How I wish! There is anything I could do. Mm. This sickness is unto death. And that is just the truth. Hey! Intelligent people do not defy maidens. For they fear the goddess of virgins. Why expose yourself? Please! 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 What the, what, 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 he's not dead. He's trying to rape another Please. another maiden. What is that? Foolish You wear the Please! Which is dead? I want him, but he refused to Wake him, wake him! Stop saying what? what is dead! I want him to be, to be careful with all this all this every night and then at the corner. That night! He will be walking his wife! Why will he die? Huh? Look at look at him! Uh, uh, stupid! They're supposed to be king! He's dead! How? You sent them to come and rape me. Why are you still denying? You see, Omar, I'm not just denying. I don't know why you're accusing me of something I know nothing about. Under the most circumstances, I should be afraid of a character like you. But do you still remember what I told you about the gods the day you called me to propose to me? Have you gone dumb suddenly? You can't remember what I told you about the gods? You see, Amma, I don't know why you're saying all that. I am moving ahead right away. I do not wish to discuss the things in the past. You need to purify yourself with Unzu. And you need to do that urgently. All the courts of your father put together cannot stand the goddess of virgins. Wait, Isioma. What do you mean by my father's court? The same court that you belong to. The same court.
court that makes you think that you will emerge as king in this land. The same court that made you send your boys to come and defile me. The goddess of virgins is far higher than that court. Igweze, trace your way back and you may live to see tomorrow. Be sure he has integrity. Be fair not to turn a book Before you believe your father, be sure, be sure he's on the right path. I know the reason for his attitude. He believes I'm a threat. He thinks I'm spoiling for war. Maybe I have come back to begin to lay claims as the first son. Do you have such intention? Why would I? I have experienced the peace that comes with the assurance of salvation. Why would I fight to vitally treasures? I think we need to make everything clear to him. Because what my father said about your brother, I don't want him to start having that bad impression about you. I'm bothered with his salvation. He's so interested in the things of this world. I don't know how to get him to start thinking about things of life after here. Don't worry. There is nothing that God cannot do. We just need to keep on praying for him. God will make it where there seems to be no way. Hmm? Igweze, your inherited wealth is hanging on the balances. Your father asked you to kill him. Why didn't you do so? He left before the instruction was given. You should have done it from where you were. The power is right inside of you. Even the knife you have in your body can do wonders. You don't have to come to me. I need to be educated on this power inside of me. That I have. I don't know about. If you cannot use the power of imagination to kill the prodigal son that is planning to destroy your father's legacy, you can use the two charms you have at home. He has to die. And he has to die tomorrow. I'm happy that you followed the path of me. Try to remain committed to the core values that attract respect. I'm sure your blessings is coming soon. Something tells me you are the blessing. Ana goro chinti na yi esu. Mano mbono solo bi amana bomba da onu. I am not good when it comes to reaching conclusions. I will rely on you to tell me what you mean by I am the blessing. I believe you are a woman that the gods of this land are leading. All my life, I have labored day and night to live according to the dictates of the gods. It's your mom. We need to go wrong if you end up as my wife. This Ingrid wants to marry my woman. What a friend. Um, did you just say that to me? Yes. You really want me to be your wife? Yes. I said it and I meant it. I have thought about it over and over again. It's your mom. A woman of the gods like you needs a man of the God to ensure happiness in a marriage. Just say yes to me. I will marry you without delay. I shall be here to see that kind of man who would finally settle. Um. You, you took me on a way seriously. I 
I was never expecting this. You know me too well that I will never mention this if I'm not serious about it. I'm here under the moon proposing to you. Please be my bride. We have a bright future together and we can work it out. A woman of the gods needs a man of the gods to ensure happiness in her marriage. You got me with those words. Should I, I take it as an acceptance? Wealth and all earthly treasures has never moved me as a woman. You came from a different angle entirely. And that angle has humbled me. I am ready for you. You are indeed a man of the God. Not kill them from here. Why then do they say I have powers? Of course, you have the powers. The problem you have is that you have no brains. Father, Father, I know your voice. I know you're the one that just spoke. Why do you say I have no brains? You were asked to kill the fool that is planning to destroy my legacy. You were told what to do. Why are you monitoring a woman who is destined to be with another? Certainly not that inward. A low life. How can it be said? In no matter that it was said, lost a woman to a commoner. A boy that served me. Never. If you fail to kill a Bubogalaya. And he perfects what he is planning. I will cut you to pieces. <coughs> In as much as Ujura lived a proud life that finally killed him. He was a good man. Good man in what sense? A man who was taking advantage of all the medias of this kingdom. By deceiving them with fake marriage proposal. And taking the opportunity. How, how could you say that he was a good man? How, how could you? Greetings. Noble men of Umato. <laughs> Greetings to you. How may we help you? I found this in a zoo. <laughs> Someone told me it originated from here. Another told me it's expensive. I came all the way from a zoo to sell it. Can you please help me? <laughs> this is nice. Yeah? Our almighty be the almighty. <laughs> Let me feel it. Hey! Do not talk that to me. For what we now see might not be the third bit of Omaliko that we cherish so much in our land. You know, you know, be careful. And what are you trying to say? That I have a fake one or what? Is that what you're trying to say? Are my eyes deceiving me or what? I am not the, 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 the queen mother of Omatora kingdom that died th three years ago. Eh? What do you want from me? I am the queen. Hey! Come back here. Come back here. I found you and I can always find you. Come and take this message to my son, Obeora. I, I have not been getting on well with, with, with your son. I have not been getting on well with him. He's, he's, he's a very proud man. Very proud. Hi. That is the more reason he needs this message. I have been the one holding back the goddess of the virgins from executing the plan she has against my son. 
I have lost grip for the goddess is very angry with my son. Is this not enough reason? Enough reason for you to, 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 to leave me out of this state? Leave me out of this mission? And, and why are you sending me to somebody that is about to be destroyed? Why are you sending me to a living dead man? Tell my son to be wary of the beauty that deceives. He must get a wife immediately. What do you mean by the beauty that deceives? What, what is the meaning? She's a loose woman on a mission. A mission to punish men with death. Men who derive pleasure in deceiving innocent maidens. She has interesting tales that she uses to deceive men. She is deadly and she has already gotten many men. Mm -hmm. Can I, please, can I be excluded from this mission? Me, I love my life. I don't want to be, to be caught in the middle. Please. You will get a just reward for this talk with my son. Tell him that the goddess of the virgins will allow this deadly beauty that deceives to seduce him. He will not survive. Once it fails to resist our charms. I said it that I am no longer an ordinary man of Umatwa. And, and they will not listen. Now the Queen Mother has got to do with the beauty, the beauty that receives. What, what, what does that mean? Beauty that receives. I am a maiden of Eziowele. I came to sell this bead of Omaliko. I need help. That's why I came to your compound. Now, will you be of help? I was the one the queen mother gave the message. And I was also in the palace. The moment the, the king was narrating a story of the living maiden, who claimed to come from Eziowele? An evil woman that killed the queen. Huh? I want to ask you a question. Straight one. Are you that evil woman that killed the prince? Huh? Hmm? Answer me! Hey. I ask who are you and, and you are living. Why are you that evil woman? And answer, answer, answer me at once. Why do you block my way? You do not know me. I came for help, but I can see you do not want to help me. Could you at least let me pass? <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. You see that woman? She's, she's loaded. She, she's full of evil. <laughs> She's evil herself. I'm still surprised on, on, on how you got to know that she's evil. Yeah? What does she want from me? Hey! Oh. If I were you, yeah. tomorrow morning I'll, 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 I'll go and see, see her. The same evil woman that killed the prince, your boss, has paid you a visit. Ah. I don't know if, if your head is moving the direction my own is moving. Hey. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, then do, do, do something. Hey. Hey. See Eh? Eh? What is this? Eh? What, what offense have I committed? Eh, yes, yes, I work for the prince. Eh, but, I, but I never lived the kind of life he lived. Eh? <laughs> Where would an evil, evil, evil man that killed the prince visit my house? What have I done? Hey! <laughs> Hey, 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 h
he will continue to tell people about me. He will continue to snoop around and maybe unfold hidden evil in me. I know you. You are the beauty that receives. And you are the one that killed my prince. What do you want from us? I don't know what you're driving at. Why are you visiting past event? Eh, uh, it may be past event, like you said. But your visit has made it fresh. How? A strange woman killed the prince. As we speak, the prince has been buried. From what the seer said, the late queen mother is very angry with the prince. I'm afraid that the ancestors may not receive his soul. And now, a woman is standing before me, asking me about the same prince. <laughs> I am not comfortable with a whole lot of things. I don't understand the extreme meaning you're reading into my visit, but I mean well. How? I listened to the town crier last night, and I heard him say that an evil woman who claimed to have come from Ezeole was the one that killed the prince. So what I say, and you don't believe what the Tankara said? No, not exactly. But I believe I've seen that strange woman before. Yeah? You've seen her before? Yes. Where? She came to my house. Hey. She was not direct enough. But she made me understand that she was interested in the prince. She even described herself as the fire that burns from afar. <sighs> and that when she leaves, People will always start discussing her. Yes. She said all this to you. And you didn't tell anyone. No, no. Why are you saying it now that she, she already killed the prince? I, 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 I didn't know exactly what she was saying. I, I didn't know she was that deadly. But now I understand. Uh, so, what do you want me to do now? The fire that burns from afar. And that once she leaves, people will always start discussing her. I need you to speak with the king. I believe she may attempt to kill another. Please tell the king and the men in council to do something about this before, before another dies. If you fail to kill Ibubo Galanya and he perfects what he is planning, I will cut you to pieces.
That way she sits, she shall find. She promised to help me. Where could she be? Where is the goddess? I could not find her inside. I believe she disappeared. And now she ran away before the war could even start. What kind of useless goddess is that? Yeah? What is this? I came here for my brother. For his soul is important to God. Zamama, renounce cultism and accept Christ into your life and you shall have peace and be saved from the snares of death. Devil I want you to stop coming to this place. What are you doing here? You want Devil Galanya, not me. I am a Bubolisa, the glory of God. And I have come here today to pray down that glory and set the captives free. Shut up and stop provoking me. You, who gave you the right to change your name from what your father gave you? Who? 
If you know what is good for you, take these hoodlums you brought with you and get out of this place before you see something that is mightier than your stupidity. Get out of here. Igweza, my brother. I came here because of you. Do not listen to them. Do not mind their charms and cultisms. They have nothing. <laughs> you know what, Igweza? Deal with this. You! Deal with this. Mm. Hey. Hey. Jesus! Jesus! It is written in the book of the Lord that no weapon so full of bonus are put. Find the mighty in the most deep of Christ. Amen! Amen. Amen. You may have noticed I don't use this stuff often. This is not an ordinary walking stick. What we have here is a summation of all things. This stuff here can put a kingdom on the wrong. Father, do you see war erupting in the nearest future? Why are you giving me an instrument of war? Because you must always be prepared for war. Once you are exposed to any terrible situation that may make you have no option but to run away from your compound, pull out this staff against your invaders and watch what will happen to them. Amen. the blood of Jesus! Amen. Do not die! Amen. Do not die! We just stop in us! We just stop I will not get hurt. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cover the blood with the blood of Jesus. 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 This is the summation of all the powers that made our father who he was. Take these people out of this place this minute. Because this can kill. It can kill all of you. Take them out. Igweze. Why do you so much believe in charms? That staff you are holding cannot kill anybody who is in Christ. For we are the chosen of the Lord. And we are covered with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Drop that instrument of Satan. And accept Christ into your life. And he will give you peace. Mm. I don't see one in Baba Nanda, I see one in Yango, Bubaka, and one of them. The Bubaka, I know one Ibo, Bukan, Guinea, and Emma. Imalina Moon, well, upon Nature, no Bubu. The Bubaka, I want them who see never went for one. Meme, when you give a Bubaka. Millie win at Jimana, ye licky, ye my sick. The Bubaka. I beg you, accept Jesus Christ and confess him as your personal Lord and Savior and you will live. Because the one name, please, please accept Christ in your life. I beg you. You will walk alone. You can never drag the legacy of our father to the mud. Because say Jesus is the way. Do you believe your father? Be sure you.